Hey guys, back at it again. It's Fia with another Twitch VOD. Today is from the 22nd of April, 2022. And we did some comp stomp. I'm gonna let you watch it. It did get a little bit, there's, in the middle there, there's a bit of a, like a hiccupy, hinky, weird kind of thing. Um, we had some big issues with the Twitch servers, had to restart stream a few times, but um, it's fine, you know, tech, it is what it is. You kind of just have to get used to it. Uh, if you want to catch us live, you can do so at twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma. And if you add a slash schedule onto the end of that, you'll be able to see what time I'll be going live next, converted to your time zone, nice and automagically. And if you're feeling generous, I really would appreciate if you scrolled down into the description box and found my links for my social media stuff. In particular, Instagram is one of the ones I'm trying to focus on, uh, really like trying to build that whole following there would love to be a full-time content creator but in order to do that need to be able to pay my bills and brand deals can do that and brand deals are on instagram thank you so much for hearing me out um enjoy the vod and hopefully i'll see you in chat next time hello greetings guess what i'm on time well mostly roughly approximately how is everyone how are we doing? Welcome. Welcome back. Well done to Kaon first. Sheba with second. Hello, Gita. Cat has grabbed third. Chaos has grabbed last. Um, my day's going pretty well. Thank you for asking, Chaos. Um, I've, I've been having a bit of issues with, like, energy in the morning. You know, just the whole getting out of bed thing. Look, it's not super... I don't know. But I have a feeling um, this weekend just having some time away for like out in the air and things um is gonna like help somewhat with my like energy levels and stuff um but look we'll we'll see i hope you're doing well hello nurse welcome back happy friday yeah all oh, right it is friday isn't it yep good good hello tony Going to pick with you the step ones came oh my god so so comfy yay i'm so happy for you gita that is fantastic Love the hair and makeup. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, make sure you click the link in chat, guys, the stream readers link. Log in with your Twitch account and drag and drop those units to the battlefield. Uh first, uh, we we new event. It's it's um elemental. We've got a new event already. My goodness. Uh we've got elemental. You got uh oh that note that's opened it. Right, I've closed the splash screen already. But you're getting crystals to open up um chests with skins and all that kind of fun stuff. Um yeah, new event in Stream Raiders already. Uh, the Battle Pass is available if you want to pick up some extra skins. You can see down there at Tier 1, Battle Pass holders get a Bronze Water Monk skin straight off the bat. Uh, Fire Barbarian skin, very cool, etc, etc, uh, as you go along. And uh, of course, if you are using a Battle Pass, you get to place with a fourth captain. Not just the three that you're limited to, you get an extra slot so that you can place more units, get more crystals, uh, and earn more of those rewards um yeah yeah uh before we get started with today's what was that ah cat purchasing a fiamma flying rogue for from from stream raiders thank you so much much appreciated i hope you enjoy it it is one of my favorite skins it's in fact it's the first full skin that we unlocked our very first one uh of course it's ashes um, and I have been told it is one of the best-selling skins of all, not just Flying Rogue, but best-selling skins of all time for Stream Raiders. Um, although that was, like, a while back, so I'm sure someone's probably taken over from there. Um, but that's okay. Hello, Shiva. Better slowly over the flu. Oh, fantastic, Chaos. I hope you feel much better soon. I should put this on the AH. Feels good when they sell. It does. Doesn't... Oh, did I not turn my captions on? Oops. Hello, testing, testing. Brilliant. Now they're working. Fantasmic. All right. So, um, what I wanted to do, like, just quickly before we kick off with the, uh, with the, um, uh, what's it? I got a package. The package is from Mello. Um, so this isn't, uh, we recently, very recently had, uh, Anonymous purchase a bunch of Mellow products off my wish list. Thank you so much, Anon. I greatly appreciate it. Um, one item that Anon bought for me hasn't been ordered by Throne yet. Zorvia Throne, my wish list, which is a, a safety first 
platform where I don't get your information and you don't get my information and I list things that I want and you can purchase them for me if you so desire and it gets sent straight to my home address which is fantastic. Very convenient for me because I don't have to go to anywhere like a PO box or something but um uh, and you know that we had a couple of issues with Mellow in the beginning. There are a few bits and pieces that were bought for me for my birthday back in February um, that haven't shipped yet or haven't been received. Well, they have now shipped. I got an email today. still dropping like crazy. I'm in a Discord channel if anyone wants to join and hear what I'm doing. You won't be able to see it, obviously, but I'm going to cut this and see what I can figure out. Let's try this one. Might be. Just give it a second. It, it, like, like most times, computers don't know whether they're happy or not for a good 30 seconds or so. <laughs> Just give it a minute. I want to make sure we're stable before I actually keep going. Appreciate your patience. There have been issues with the Twitch Oceanic servers uh, for months now. For months and months and months. Um, I've been having dropped frames of four to five percent every stream for for the last several months, uh, and I'm not the only one. So it's not my setup. It's it's like people across Twitch ANZ. Um, so it's it's a very nah, there we go. It's crashed again. I told you. So it just dropped from six k down to three. Drop frames. Going up. Down a little. Now it's stable again. Oh, there's an ad. Shit, I'm sorry. I was offline long enough for it to not think I was it was a continuous stream. Crap. My apologies. Um Shiva, please apologize to people who are not subbed in chat right now. <laughs> um Yeah, that's just really really sucky. It also means the first half of my stream, I don't have an MP4 file for it to stick on a VOD. Like, it'll be an MKV. I can convert it, but it's just a pain in the ass. Like, ah, fix this shit. Real shit. Uh, but I am going to say we're good now. I'm going to say we're good now. So, um, I was up to... Uh, uh, Mars talking about the servers going down. Yes, that's this, the case for literally all of Australia. Um, cutting the scale across the surface, Ronan unleashed the power trapped within and returned to the aspect their essence given at the creation of the Dragon Soul. Did that give them actually back their true power or just some of it though? Because I'm assuming some of the power in the soul was used to put Deathwing back in his pot. So surely they weren't given their maximum level of power back because some of that was drained to fight Deathwing. Like, surely. Um, we don't shut down the bomb service, technically speaking. Anything really immortal. We seem to have murdered, seen enough, get murdered. Play DK is entirely at fault for the vastly sped up extinction of the red. Having a lot of stutter on stream. Yep. Stream is fucked. Yep. Uh, 
food. Players are immortal. Uh, our mounts are more immortal. They can't even be attacked. I'm checking out stream. Fantastic. Got a giant sword in us somewhere. So we have main character plot armor. Everything else does not. The glitchy sound is perfect. Yeah, it was it was dropped frames. We're skyrocketing. Um, I thought it was my side. No, it's Twitch. It, well, I mean, technically it is, but it's all of your sides. I can't do much. You can't do much. It's it's a Twitch problem. But I don't know, fiddling around with a bunch of things and changing servers and forcing it over here and then forcing it over there and... and all that and look restarting the router did help as well but um i don't know like it's yeah it's just it's all a bit strange the the issues with twitch streaming have been there like minor issues but still pretty bloody big ones um i think what i might do is see if i can get um my log for tonight's stream and uh shoot that through to partner support and see if they can see anything in there um 360 for you, create a rethinking idea. Restore again, but for which purpose in the end, when not beating a new or old enemy or replanting a new world trip, the night elves, which is the undergoing back to the world rebuilding, the night elves and stormwind are still there, of course, and need a new home. Um, but for which purpose? For their original purpose, protecting Azeroth against whatever may come next. There, there's, like, when, when the dragons were originally made aspects and granted their powers, it wasn't, it was just to be, they were given dominion over an element of, at, when I say element, I don't mean like fire, wind, water. I mean, you know, the black dragon flight was earth and, and uh, like one part of Azeroth and then the red dragon flight was life and then green dragon flight was the emerald dream. And it's like, they were given dominion over those areas, but their powers weren't for any purpose. It was just to aid in managing that dominion. Um, so there doesn't need to be a reason for them to get those powers back. It can be the same as the original purpose. Uh, and go bunk with the Nightborn, wait, Toronto was addicted to them so they hate her, read the dragon soul portion out of order, because of course, uh, so yeah, the powerless of them being able to turn into dragons. Okay, good. I was, I was like, wait, where is that from? Yeah, okay. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, a bunch of other streamers from all over the world. Ah, oh, that was me. Good. Uh, it's okay, don't get it. That's okay. To the videos. Um... Messed up on mobile. That wouldn't surprise me. Uh, wait, when did the Titans die? Sargeras killed them after they left Azeroth. Uh, maybe they can make up with the Nightborn or the High Elves in Dalaran or the, 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 they're all dead. Okay, wait, hatches. Azeroth is an egg. Yeah. Well, as, no, Azeroth isn't. The ground on which we walk is an eggshell. Literally. Uh, I thought it would just die off. So much has happened. How could it come to life? It's a world soul. So Azeroth is a world soul. Like Argus, remember the last boss in Legion? Like the, the the ultimate boss in Legion? Argus was a corrupted world soul. Azeroth is one of those, but she's a she, not a he. Argus was a he. But um, yeah, so Azeroth is literally one of those. One of the titans curled into a ball in the middle of our planet, Azeroth. The planet is named for the being inside it. And at some point, when she's ready, crunch. Out comes a brand new baby titan. Uh, have you not been listening to Ron Spears for nearly two decades? <laughs> My uh, phone's away. She's so alive she made it as all superhuman for an expansion. Uh, she's bleeding currently. Azerite from BFA is literally the blood of Azeroth who is inside the, the planet. Uh, Ricky Rose and PvP store. Thank God it's a long weekend. <laughs> yep. Uh, blood Raven always killed me in Diablo. Range, five minute back, but laggy. Yeah, I was testing a few different settings to see if I could find one that would work. Um, and here we are. Uh, I'm very sorry, just not having a great time. So badly. Uh, reboot, she's coming back. Nature gets worth words for normal game content. And if I wasn't coming back, I would always put it in chat. I would let you know. Like, I'm not an asshole. I try not to be, at least. If it's going haywire, isn't much for you, so if you can do is twitch not fear. Uh, depends on spec, generally not assuming No, hold tight guys, we'll be back shortly. This is a twitch issue, fear says sorry. I'm assuming there was nothing between those messages because I've got the welcome to the chat room message in between those two posts from Shiva. So I'm just gonna assume there's nothing in there because I can't respond to it anyway. I think there's a loophole, chat says okay. Can we contribute more again? No, it's still daily. Um, call the twitch interface, so it is us, <laughs> it is not us or you. It again, did an early stream. Stream saying you refresh. Did she reach the goal? Did you refresh 
stream. Yep, I'm sure it again. Look, I'd like you guys to not because that's, you know, kind of a dick move, but whatever. Uh, I guess we'll just cheat then. Um, Empower specifically to protect. Like, that's out of my control. What am I supposed to do about that? I can't, like, the channel points thing is run entirely by Twitch. I can't even determine how many you earn. Like, it's that kind of fucked up. Um, the world, Soul of Azeroth, the Titans couldn't do anything because they were massive. Join in. Um, Paris specifically prevent the Hour of Twilight. Uh, people to bring up the point donors. They do seem to be. Murky storylines, obviously, Grand Assault, also various timelines. So, meaning their initial change from Pro Dragons to Dragon Aspects. Uh, there were steps between that, I'm pretty sure, weren't there? Maybe? I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, look. Contributing twice, like, sure, I guess, whatever, but, like, that kind of defeats the whole spirit of it, doesn't it? Um, like, there's literally nothing I can do to stop you, so, oh well. Um, alright. I'm gonna jump in here. Made the assumption you would not be in Twitch chat and maybe a Discord installed on phone or some such. I report you posting there during rough weather. Yeah, um, that's because I knew no one would be in chat. Um, like waiting for me to go live or anything and I told people during the stream specifically that I'd update there and on Twitter um, but if I'm live and something happens and I'm I can't tell you myself I always jump I've got um, like if I still have an internet connection I can type in chat myself possibility um, but otherwise I've got uh, the twitch app on my phone and I open that up because I can run on 4g my PC can't and I can tap a tap it into um, into chat from there so I will always always be able to let you know unless everything goes splat like you know the the cell towers are dead and power is dead here and just everything is kerfucked in which case not really my problem like not I am sure at that point I have bigger problems to deal with and it's not really my fault so <laughs> uh, it was entirely for the reason of preventing the hour of twilight a future that Amon saw could wipe out all life on Azeroth he kind of fulfilled his own prophecy as Neltharion was the one who kicked off the hour of twilight ah uh, fair doing all day I feel others have already more than done too much for that today fair enough Fair enough. But yeah, we've already crossed over 75% of the goal for today, so um, we've still got Sunday to do too. Let me have more points, probably would have refreshed. Yep, other people were talking about the fact that they refreshed the page, so there you go. I could have just kept streaming with shitty drop frames the whole time and you guys would have had a crap stream, but you know, tried not to because I thought that was a bit crap. Um, oh, that was an adventure. Back to Comp Stomp. What am I on now? 72? 75? Holy cow! I didn't realize I'd gotten that much for now, and I'm on 75. That's really awesome. Once I hit 80, I'm going to switch tunes. Um, excuse me. Uh, to balance it out. I reckon that's a good plan. No, oh, plant? I reckon that's a good plan. With no T on the end. Uh, same, okay, now I have the domination key on 15 characters. Is it the one I actually needed on? <laughs> Curse you, Orange Jesus. I've only had it on one ult, but I haven't really gone and like farmed it on fear. I haven't had time. Um, but that's okay. It, it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm so keen to use my new fancy pretty things. I'm so excited. I got exactly one from the general and obviously on the wrong- obviously on the wrong- like why would anyone get it on the right character? That's just- that's blasphemy. <laughs> from the main rest just got it from questing. Yeah, I got the one on druid from questing. How much closer is this getting you to the PvP bound? I know you aren't doing this amount, so presumably this doesn't hurt. Um, it doesn't hurt, you're right. It absolutely gets me closer. I have gained one on a level today. I just over one- like I started about here. And I've gone around and then like to here on the on the meter. So like yeah, just over one level so far. So it's good, but it's not like that good, if you know what I mean. But I'm buying some transmogs with the honor and stuff too, so that's good. 
Ah, uh, it's mellow stuff arrive. Issue between them and thrones sorted. Yes, so I had mellow stuff from the second batch that was bought for me ordered. I unboxed that at the start of stream. And I'm also going to clip, not clip, but like highlight that and send it to, um, send it to the mellow team. Because, uh, yeah, they, they might have actually been in chat while it was happening. They said they were going to see if they could figure it out. Um, because they didn't know what Twitch was or how it works or anything like that. Uh, obviously, because Twitch is a pretty niche platform. Um, but I said, you know, this is the website you can go to, this is the time you can go there, and that's what I'll be doing. So they might have been there in chat, but I'm not too sure. Um, maybe, maybe not. Um, but I'm still going to send them the video anyway, because, like, super exciting. Uh, and then, yeah. Um, I plan to reset the button again today to test it for sure. To be level 60 if I'm storm. I was told you have to be 60, yeah, but I don't know. Um, I don't know for certain. I haven't tried it myself. Uh, 60, I think. There you go. Uh, where am I? This one. Ali, Silver, Meaty, Skull, Cat, Zombie, Apro, Loza, and Zem. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Uh, one to two honor levels per comp stomp. Mm, that doesn't. You get a mount, so roughly 60. Oh, I know, right? I need, like, next time comp stomp comes around, I need to not have stuff to do, or I need to have people who can do my work stuff for me. Not my day job, but, like, oh, crap. But, like, the, the socials and stuff, if I can have that handled already by the time comp stomp comes around next time, maybe I'll actually be able to just stomp the comps all day for a whole week. That'd be really nice. Okay, back to map buttons. Finally working. Uh, I have 200 marks on, I don't even know where to begin. It's really difficult because there's so much, so much that you need to get with marks of honor. Like hundreds of thousands of marks worth. It's ridiculous. If you type slash ATT and then shift click your mark into the chat box, you will get, um, you'll get a list of everything you can get with marks. Maybe just work your way from the top. Like, it might just be that. It might be easier that way. That's what I essentially plan on doing. Oh my god. How the fuck is Alliance winning? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, not really done any PvP. What's this comp stomp thing about? It's Arathi Basin except versus bots. I can't solo two of them because I'm under geared as hell. That's alright. Died anyway. That's fine. Um, but I'm just got 58. I'm tired of leveling. Oh no. Oh no. You can level through PvP. You can level through battlegrounds and then get into the comp stomp once you hit 60. 60. 60. Level, from level 80 to 60. Level eight. I mean, I was like, um. That's not how leveling works. I was a little little bit confused there. Reverse 20 levels is hard to do. Indeed. It's an epic wine back. Depends if that was in BFA or not. Yeah, true, true. Ooh. down the side. So that's gonna be uh time. before the squish. Yeah. I don't. All mine are 50 plus. <laughs> but it's just me. I'm a bit of a, an interesting one. I don't think so. Uh, hang on. Thank you. 
make that sound. Nope, it didn't. The bot disconnected. So you should be good now. Oh, was that? I got Renown, so I'm 76 now. Uh, yeah, Qualitron died. Qualitron, Qualitron DC'd from Twitch. The, the program didn't die. The program was still connected to the internet, but the, the API token between the program and the bot account broke. Um, but with me, it didn't. Like, with the, with the streamer account, it didn't. Just the bot account, which I think is hilarious. Best goods in the Empire. So, Corrupted Aspirant's Gavel. What am I going to need for that? 875. Ah, one more battle. We'll be fine. Oh, look, I got another with some memory. Brilliant. Wait, what am I doing? This one. Mm. It should be connected. No. Yeah, it's fine now. For the Alliance. 76. Whew. Might actually hit, because I can only get to a max of, I can only get to a max of 78. So that's, yep, max of 78. Can Blizzard invent a time machine and just give me DF now, please? <laughs> no! Jack, I still have to collect more mounts before they introduce more mounts to the game. Fuck off. <laughs> to get to 680-something, 83, I think it was, 683 collected before they're allowed to drop it. Alright, um... Sheeps, could you delete that permitted term, please? That is a mistyping. Uh, so Automod caught you, Snow, because you spelt how ho. And it thought you were trying to call me a whore, which is not very nice, obviously. I know you weren't, I'm aware, but Automod doesn't understand context. So, yeah, typos are fun. Uh, thank you, sheep. Seriously, need time to grind more stuff for full leveling? Yes. Correct. I've got so many things from ATT still to get, you guys. I'm only 82% on fear or something ridiculous. Where's my honor? Okay. Oops. You didn't put the exclamation mark in, but Qualitron can't respond anyway. Qualitron doesn't have any coins. Um. Like talent trees? Yeah, yeah. Give them time to get them right, Jack. You don't want them to fuck that up. Like, give them the time to get it right. They've already, one of the features on those trees is already not a thing anymore. Like, and they wasn't a thing before they even released the screenshots. So give them some time to get it right. Uh, which is, I know why you're asking for the, the time machine, but like, just look, patience is a virtue. Um, conquest comes from another part of the It's currency, which makes sense. It's easy PvE. Yeah, but yeah, eight, Conquest is also the harder of the two to get. Conquest is, yeah, like, Conquest is like the heroic to mythic level of currency for PvP. <laughs> uh, Typex really fucking coming up. They can, Snow, you are correct. <laughs> Which, but obviously I recognized what was going on and so I allowed it through, but yes. Yes, they can. Uh, so I don't know the release timeline for DF. I would just give them time to figure it out. Like, I I want them to have the right... I don't want them to, to announce things before they're ready and then have to change stuff and get everyone pissed off at them. Like, it's just not worth it. Let them have the time they need. They've they've upped their communication. They're, they've taken on... Like, you can see in, their, in the entire shit that they've developed, you can see that they're listening to feedback and that they're taking it seriously. And they're trying to reconnect with their playbase and all that kind of stuff. Let them, let them take the time they need to figure all that shit out. <clears throat> I think it's really important. The more space we give them to get that stuff sorted, I feel like the better an expansion we're gonna have. And God, how awesome would it be if Dragonflight became the new Legion? Like, let's be real. 
Oh, you get memories of planning talent trees gives me ooh feelings. November this year or March. November this year. They release at the same time as Wrath, surely. No, they will not. They absolutely will not. They don't want to split their player base like that. That's actually a really good point. I didn't even think of that part. They absolutely will not. Judging from when they released Beast, like TVCC, it really feels like they're trying to drop, like, retail classic, retail classic, retail classic. Um, obviously last year they didn't really do much, but they did do the Season of Mastery thing. So maybe that was kind of... that was pretty big. But yeah, um... Was that last year or this year? Good lord. I don't, time is not a thing. Uh, but yeah. It's... Yeah. <clears throat> Legion, DF. What I meant was the universally seemingly loved expansion. Like so many people really loved Legion. And they like I've seen a ton of people try to compare BFA and Shadowlands to Legion. Because that was like their mild their their marker of what a good expansion looks like, sort of thing. That's what I meant by that. You know that's what I meant by that. Ah, uh, these two thrones, much more likely, if no signs behind that. Yeah, no, I strongly feel that it's not going to be until after Love's in the Air. I am pegging an April launch, personally. But, um... That's... I, I have no insider information, and I, like, have nothing to... Like... To show that that's kind of, you know, it's just that's what I'm feeling. That's what I got in my gut. <clears throat> Love a nice long pre-patch period. Wonderful leveling opportunities. Oh yeah, absolutely. Give me give me a two-month pre-patch. Let us level up a shit ton. Full accounts worth of characters. It will release soon, TM. Correct. God, it'll feel like soon. We'll blink and it'll be next year anyway, you guys. I'm gonna blink and it's gonna be, oh, we're gonna be next month and we'll have the, the mobile game in our hands. Uh, or announced at least. And then we'll blink again and it'll be PAX. And then we'll blink again and it'll be Lovers in the Air. And then we'll blink again and it'll be Dragonflight. Like, it's... yeah. I hate because I hated it for some reason. I love it in hindsight. Interesting. A lot of people love 7-3. Not too many love 7-0. Yeah, but 7-3 is what they remember as Legion. People often don't remember a toddler when they remember a person who passed away at the end of their life. Like, it's how humans work. They remember the end of something, not the start of it usually. Unless it's truly terrible. Um, there's so much room right now, but they take longer to get it right. Anyone remember the Legion pre patch? Let's make from zero to max in under a day. I think if you'll have the heartbreaker, hopefully. Good lord, I really bloody hope so. Never going to find a better deal. I really hope so. That'd be fantastic. And you guys are going to be deafened by. My, my screams of joy and excitement when that bloody thing drops. Uh, all right, Longbow is going to be a ridiculous amount of honor, isn't it? Yep, 1750. Here we come again. What am I looking at? 76. Yeah, nah, it's fine. I need two more renown before I need to swap. My numerous tunes. It was the best. It was amazing for olds. I really don't like to sign up for this beta. I want to fiddle with evokers. Be, it'll be interesting. It'll be really interesting. Um, I would love to help beta test, but I don't know how I can do that without av avoiding like major storyline points, you know? Um, yeah, it's uh, I, I'm I'm really torn between my desire to help Blizzard make this the best possible game that it can be, and wanting to share like wanting to have that same experience alongside all of you where i'm learning about the story for the first time on launch day you know and having those oh my god is it your sarah moments you know that's those are like that is what makes the leveling experience for me is those those big reveal moments that yeah and i'm i'm scared of what the leveling experience will be if i don't have those moments 
I don't want it to feel like a shell of what it could have been. It, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm scared. I'm scared. Ah, uh, fiddle of is a bard class confirmed. Part of me wants to sign up for beta, the part of me is like, no, must experience real time when it launches. Yeah, yeah. Stick out of beta and legion beta wouldn't ever again be the reason why I stay clear of the PTR. Yeah, there's one singular time that I have ever been on a World of Warcraft alpha, beta, or PTR once. It was Wrath of the Lich King. It was the patch, it was the PTR for the patch where they introduced achievements. And I copied my character across to see what achievements I almost had so that I could spend some time prior to the patch hitting going and finishing off what would have been the requirements for those achievements so that I would get them when I logged in after the patch had launched. Yep. I have been mad for achievements since before they were launched. It's the only time I've ever done a PTR. However, let me be very clear here, however, if I am approached, if, big if, if I am approached by Blizzard to do some sponsored beta streams, singular you bet your ass i will you betcha i will before i do them i will absolutely have conversations with them to say okay what kind of content are we looking at in the beta like i you know i tend to try to avoid storyline spoilers is there anything that you would be happy like that you want me to show people that doesn't involve spoilers how could like i would actively get involved with them to try to plan my content in a way that would make my heart happy, but also fulfill their requirements. But if that's not possible, then so be it. I, I will level invoker all five. <laughs> Go through all the custom customization options for the evoker. That should take us about two hours as we ooh and ah over every single one of them and look at all the tiny details in the scales and stuff. Uh, and then I'll level them and that'll be fine. I've been on BFA beta. I'm pretty sure I got an invite for BFA beta, but it was very late in the day, so I didn't feel bad about getting it. Um, yeah. Oh, wow, that's dedication. Sing for the Dragonflight beta. It's in the BFA beta. I literally only spent the entire time just running the zones with my boyfriend at the time. Didn't request the story, just enjoyed the zones. I could also, um, sometimes with beta, they allow you to get a maxed character. Like, you can create a max level tune so that you can test out the max level stuff instead of storyline. And I could definitely go in and test out like professions and, and things like that. I, I'd be more than happy. Um, I really want to help them with bloody typos and grammatical errors, but I can't do that without spoilers because I literally have to read everything. I just enjoyed the zones of that. Just for us before, one of my favorite zones. In BFA, I purposely leveled an alliance on beta because I would not be seeing that story otherwise. Wish they would have had different stories again. Same thing for Shadowlands. That would have been cool, but I understand why not. Like, the focus wasn't on the factions. It was on these other creatures and their story, and they had to tell the same story to both the Horde and Alliance, because, yeah. Like, I got it. I understood. But hello, Purse. Hope you're doing well. I am dead. Maybe? Oh, no. I have friends. Amazing. I'm not sure if you've covered it yet on other streams, uh, but how do you name your tunes? When you get your evokers, will you keep the names of the slots they're taking or new names? New names. I name, uh, I used to name my characters by like taking words that were associated with the class. Um, and popping them into a translator. Uh, so Fiamma, Italian for flame. Phelan, I believe. I could, Google could be lying to me. I verified the Italian um, with an actual Italian back when I originally got the name because um, I was working with an Italian. But uh, I believe that Phelan actually uh, is Gaelic for Druid, which I thought was super appropriate. Um, 
Uh, Alexia is a uh, name... I can't remember what it means. Some of them I got from, like, baby name websites. You know how they say, like, na names have meanings and stuff? Uh, well, Kira, my warlock, is a name that means darkness. Um, uh, and, yeah, stuff like that. But then <laughs> I got to a point. Uh, Desiderata is the name of one of the original, like one of the only, like, so paladins were an actual thing back in the day, uh, back in medieval times or whatever it was, and there was actually female paladins, and Desiderata was one of the female paladins. Uh, Piroa is the name of an actual clan of shamans, um, I think in America. Um, so I grabbed names that meant something related to the class. Um, or had some kind of connection for me, at the very least. Uh, but then once I got to, like, you know, a lot of them, <laughs> um, I started using the name generator. If you don't know, if you're new here and you haven't heard me tell this story before, uh, if you didn't know, the name generators for World of Warcraft, like the little dice next to the name box in World of Warcraft generates a different set of names depending on what race your character is. So Kul Tiran, Kul Tiran characters will get Kul Tiran names. Zandalari troll characters will get Zandalari troll names. Blood Elves will get Blood Elf names, etc, etc. Um, also, fun fact, EU doesn't get the randomised generator. It doesn't exist. There is no dice next to the name box on EU servers. Fun fact. Uh, but we have it here, so I'm going to keep using it. So that I'll, I'll probably use that. Um, that. In fact, no, not probably. If it still exists for us then, that is what I will be using. Unless they've removed it for everyone now, and that's why EU doesn't have it, and uh, so I can't use it, in which case, um, fuck don't I? Uh. So where are the rest of the horn? Um, I might sign off a better just play through Dragon starting zone. Did that with Catter and Morgans. Defender, Defender of Men is Alexia apparently. There you go. There you go. I don't think that's the one. I th Actually, that might have been a mini, because Alexia has been a name that I've used for my rogues for years and years and years. It might have been a randomizer and it came up with like Lexi, and then I couldn't use it. That's the thing, the old name generator didn't do it by race, and it could suggest names that were already taken. Uh, and so it would suggest something and then I'd have to make adjustments to it. Apparently, the one now, it doesn't recommend names. It doesn't suggest names that you can't use. Um, apparently. I've never had it do that. Like, I've not, not since the change, but, um, yeah. So I think it might have been a suggested name that I added a bunch of letters to. Um, but I'm not sure. I can't really remember. It was a long time ago. Uh, but that's cool. Uh, I don't have that in the EU yet, I think. You used to have it. You don't have it anymore, Snow. It's gone. You're out of luck, unfortunately. They removed it. Not sure why. Maybe it was coming up with some randomizations that were uh, considered to be culturally not okay in the EU, where the, whereas they were okay in the US, and so they just went, ah, bugger it, let's just delete it entirely. Not sure. So we're random. Wait, really? That's nuts? Yep. It's not entire. It, it is randomized, but it uses, like, um, sections. Like, it uses syllables, and those syllables are race-specific, and then they kind of slot a bunch together to make a, a coherent name, uh, and then make that suggestion. But they are definitely race-specific. <clears throat> Suck it, you. Blood of names are always long, and there should be apostrophes. There should be, but we can't have apostrophes in character names. 
like EU not having it has to do with the amount of languages. That could also be a thing. It might have generated things that were stuff in other languages that were not okay or something. Uh, Panarin is Shilong. I swear to God, it was a wrong name. It would make sense. It would. I make a preservation of Oka and call it pasture. Yes! Oh my God, I love that, Jack. I Please go reserve that name. Like now. That's beautiful. I'm so happy for you. Oh my dear, that's a named ill prepared. First character was Helixian, ended up as a bank old, then stuck with the Xeon film at. Fair. Totally fair. Whoop. Um. Seems to be helping, so I'm just gonna keep running. I double checked, and we still have dice. At least for now. Uh, in US, yeah. US and Oceanic, but EU shouldn't have them. Uh, new name area, a little check mark if the name is usable now. That's awesome. That's awesome. Try and get toothless with the track thing. So many special O and E character versions of that within seconds. I'm gonna go save that name right now. You'll, you'll be too late by this point. You'll be too late. Not even the same game as you, maybe. Maybe. I keep dying. It's not very fun, but that's okay. I'll still get my honor, and that's what matters. Oh, hello. The random name generator got reported, had force name changed, a random name was a cuss word in another language. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. That makes perfect sense. Damn it, taken. Oh, Jack. Ouch. Best way to reserve a name, create a DPS healer, then race change when evokers are released. You can't class change, that's not gonna work. Um, no, you need to create a character with the name, and then you delete the character, and then immediately create a new character with the same name. Um, you, you can't, you can't class change. There is no way to reserve a Drakthir name like that because Drakthir are only evokers and you cannot currently create an evoker to race change to a Drakthir. Because there are no other races, uh, no other races that an evoker can be. It will not work. <laughs> Rain, thank you. Fridge was available. Perfect. Love it. Amazing. Uh, Twathless. How can you reserve a name? Tune now and really recreate on X-Pack. That is the only way to reserve one. The only way. Um. You have a race change to evoke. Yeah, you can't. It's not. It's a class, not a race. So you can't race change a mage, because a mage isn't a isn't a race. It's a class. Um. I'm so happy with my new presents. So happy. Thank you again so much, Anon. I really appreciate it. So kind of you. Oh, and there they go under the keyboard. Let's guess a naming convention. Who's if you change to drag theory would make you change class? No, it wouldn't. No, it would not. Unfortunately, fortunately, you can't level a mage and then jump in at endgame raiding with a warlock. <laughs> that would just be very silly. I think we're wrong with that name available. That does not surprise me. Preservation was available. There you go. Fr I still like fridge better because it's like a sneaky sort of...
I hydrate, I didn't see. I'll use the generator when I'm creating tunes, but I'm not going to create them for a while. And I won't delete the characters that they're going to replace until I go to create them either. Um. <clears throat> but that's just, that's my choice. I know which ones I'm deleting, but I'm not going to delete them until, like, I'm going to, it'll be delete a character and create a new one in, like, the same moment sort of thing. Main's name? Uh, I don't know. It's like, got to be one of the oldest jokes in the book. Flame Spit is free, should I save it? Yeah, for sure, why not? You got the character slots to do it, why not? Flame Boy into Spree, that is a fantastic name. Your name be Freda. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, there'll be a lot of real name like real words available just because people either, like, didn't think they were cool enough or something. Um, I'm kind of surprised Fridge was available. Uh, <laughs> I guess sometimes people just think, oh, they, they couldn't possibly take, like, that couldn't possibly be free, why would I even bother sort of thing, maybe. Yeah, that's hilarious. Zim, Cat, Thor, Skull, Ally, and Vild. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. I hear bubble tea noises! Makes me happy. Just use weird combo short words like serious business. Exactly, they use memes. They use memes. Assists with armored units, Kago. Okay. <gasps> 78! Guys. I can't get any higher than that. Not on this tune. Whoop whoop! 
best goods in the empire. The yeah, right 13 25. Alright, so I can't buy the long though. I can buy the pummeler though. Perfect. Alright. Alright, we hop. And we're gonna jump on to I was started at 66 and now I'm 78, so that's pretty good. And we're gonna hop to the monk. Melissa is currently 58. <clears throat> so, is everyone in chat currently following me on Instagram? For realsies, if you're having fun and you want to help me- Ah! Yay, bubble tea! You? Is this original flavor? Mm. Try one of those pearls. A bit stiff. I think I might be undercooked. Sitting in there for 10 minutes. Yeah, it's undercooked. Oh, can't but get them out for now. 20. I can't get them out now. I can. Go through the thing and pour the stuff into a cup and pull them out and then put them in the box. No. Okay. <laughs> well, they're essentially raw balls of tapioca starch, so. <laughs> they seem to be fine aside from. Oh, they're powdery. I, I, just a little bit of powder. Thank you for the bubble tea. I'm, I'm not going to eat the pearls. I, I can't. Like, the, the texture is going to sit in my stomach like glue. Like, that's the other thing with tapioca. It won't make you belly happy. Mm. The bubble tea, on the other hand, is freaking delicious. Mm. Alright. You have faced much. I'm gonna pop myself on the thing to Oribos so I can start buying stuff with honor. And we're gonna queue. Come stump, baby! Uh, results was three, so yoink. Uh, I believe I'm following you from both my own accounts and my wife's series accounts. Amazing! Thank you so much. Enjoy my time. Happy you're still here. Oh, me too. I'm glad the stuff didn't do, like die. Hey, Nylux, hate the texture of those balls. Can't do it. Totally fair. When they're cooked properly, they those ones are almost doughy. Like, like they're literally, they feel like biting into dough balls. Um, but when they're cooked properly, they're supposed to be chewy and stuff like that. But I mean, yeah, like texture is, is definitely an aspect of the food. And like, you may like, not like the taste of one thing, but like texture is definitely a thing as well. No, no, like... No shame there, not at all. Uh, coconut jelly is a good option though, and uh, popping pearls as well. Some bubble tea joints offer popping pearls where if you like press them against the roof of your mouth with your tongue, they just burst and release like a flavored syrup. Um, so not a whole lot of texture there, which is good. Ice cream flavor only. Yeah, I've had bubble tea ice creams before. They're not great, honestly. Um, uh, like brown sugar flavored ice cream is is great, um, but the moment they try adding the pearls to it, uh, the texture is just so bad, so super bad. Um, it's kind of like grainy jello. It's not right. Um, but yeah. Smashed to fluid and dipped in brown sugar. That, um, that doesn't 
Ash to fl Whoa, what is, um... What? I don't know what is going on with my UI. That's fine! Uh, go by front. I need to get 1750 up, and I think I have like 700 and something at the moment. 720. I'm 50... 60 renown on this tune. Oh, it says 58. Oh, I didn't refresh it. I'm a numpty. Ice cream from Costco recently. Pearls were bang on, according to Hubby. Yeah, I got um, brown sugar pearl ice creams from like an Asian grocer, and the pearls were wrong. They were like they were microwave pearls, um, which are a different type of pearl, which are totally different texture. Um, the thing is, if you so tapioca pearls, if you put them in the fridge, they become rock hard in the middle like literally like little stones in the, in the middle of them. So if you put them in the freezer, they get worse. So they have to have a different consistency to be able to put them in frozen ice cream, which makes them wrong. <laughs> Even it's like putting a gummy bear in the freezer. They turn into little shards of, of rock. Um. Oh, right, not a rogue, can't stealth. Yay, thank you. Hey, hey, it's okay, hey, it's... I'm sorry. Why is Dragonflight's a valid name? Actually, it was free. tutorials I need. Thank you. There's, look, this here, down the bottom here, is nothing that should be a thing anyway. How are they down there? That makes no sense. What? I, I, I don't know. Awesome. 
I should have known he's both I'm not I was I'm not sure about size, home page wasn't good, should have just came so they could be in it. Even wrote on the comment section they were free to change the size. If I was wrong, I handled the order okay the size. No, they're not gonna bother reading those comments to to change the size. Like that's not a when you place an online order, it needs to be the correct size. All they do is pack it. All they do is get the slip that says medium shirt and they grab the medium shirt off the thing and they put it in the thing. They often don't see those comments until like later on in the in the piece. If they didn't have sizing information on the website, then I would have found a different website. Sit on their homepage, you could add a comment. Yeah, but not change my order, please. Like, that's not, do you know what I mean? A comment is like free to leave unattended or pop it in the box around the left side of the house or, you know what I mean? Like. Or this is a gift, please don't include the invoice or yeah. That comment said, yeah, like. <laughs> Comments aren't, please feel free to change my order. Like, that's not... Yeah. Once you've placed the order, unfortunately, like, that's that's how online ordering works. They would receive too many orders to be able to customize in, and check every single person's fitting and stuff like that. The idea is that they provide you that information, you figure that out yourself, and then all they have to do is pack your order. If they don't have sizing information available on the website, you order from a different company. Because fuck them. Leave your size will change if the fitting is wrong. That is super weird. Maybe the person who put that on the website doesn't work there anymore and they don't do that anymore or something because that's super strange. Super strange. Um, so weird. Um... But yeah, just return it and never order from them again. Like, if 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 the website is so bad, you have to call a company. That they've lost my business. Like, end of story. I don't have time for that. <laughs> Victory indeed. So then plagiarize. Ashes mount. I can do that. We did have to restart the stream, so I think a lot of those bits and pieces have been refreshed. Oh, excuse me. Nine months. Oh, why did that not trigger? That's odd. Hmm. Maybe. By the sun. There we go. Thank you so much, Shy. Nine months! My god. My god. Hey, Scarlet. The comment also dialed them up, and the size customer service just is such a misfire, it's hilarious. Yeah, I would leave them a bad review, I would return it to them, and like... Because, I mean, so if you order something and it doesn't fit, and you send it back, and they rectify it by giving you a refund or replacing the size or something. The customer service has done its job, and so that doesn't justify a bad review in my in my eyes. But if they've fucked up at every step of the way, and you've resulted in a bad product, then yeah, no, absolutely. Terrible review. Terrible review. And I, again, would never shop there. <laughs> Do not go back. So I mistake is a massive service issue. When you've called to ask them for sizing recommendations, because their on the website sizing guide is so terrible that you can't figure it out for yourself, and their customer service team does not provide you the appropriate sizing information, and they say that they'll fix it for you if you drop things in the comments, did you put all of your measurements in the comments? Like, is that what they're supposed to be using to get the correct size for you? Like, do you know, like, this is, that's what I'm saying, Jack. Like, usually, no, absolutely. Size mistake is fine as long as they fix it. Thank you. Are you, are you okay? There's just too many points at which that company has messed up. He 
launched Overwatch thinking it was WoW. Phenomenal, Scarlet. I see you're having an awesome day. Mm, yeah, so free to change my shows. Yeah, then... And if, like, in, in a usual, like, regularly, if I was doing clothes shopping and I put that in the comments, like, no way in hell would they ever pay attention to that. But if they've specifically said on the website that they will, and then they don't, it's, yeah. Do check the listing, though. The only exception here is if on the listing for it, in the description, it talks about it being an oversized shirt. And it's meant to be hella baggy and, like, hang off you, like, costume style. Because some clothing, if you put your measurements in, it's supposed to be three times your size because that's the style. So definitely check the listing and read every goddamn word because if it's meant to be that big, then they've done exactly their job every step of the way. <clears throat> Most clothing places end up having some kind of like size, like fit guide, like baggy, tight, etc. But, um, I don't know if this is like a costume shop or a legit clothing store, so, uh, if it's something I really want, I'll go to the ends of the earth to have of have it resolved. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that you give them a good review for messing up your stuff. Um, skins and overwatch is forgivable. Wear a slim fit dinner shirt. It goes under a blazer. Yeah, if it's specifically described as slim fit, then yeah, not. Check your packing slip in the bag to... They might have put your- they might have put your address label on it, but it's somebody else's order. the size you ordered and they confirmed oh, I've got the wrong package didn't think of that yeah that's the only that's like the last thing I can think of that could have gone wrong I just packed the wrong size yeah check the packing slip compare it to the tag on the shirt that kind of stuff like <clears throat> the assumption there Jack though was that the sizing information on the website was trash to the point that Jay had to call the company they called Jack and Jay called the company and said, "Here are my measurements. What sh what size do I need?" And the the customer service representative said, "For argument's sake, you need a large." And so Jay went on the website, ordered the large. In the comment section, it said, "If you put your measurements here and give us permission, we will make sure that you've ordered the right size for you." So Jay put in the measurements and said feel free to change it if I've ordered the wrong size. And then they haven't changed the size, they've sent it to Jay, and the large is three times the size it should be. Like, that's that's the information we were given to begin with. And in that situation, then they have failed at every step of the way. They've had a crap website that you can't fit yourself, they've given crap information over the phone, and then they've checked the comment and decided that this ill-fitted shirt was the correct size. Like, yeah. There are if if everything else is perfect, then that's terrible. But yeah, there are there are other things that could be wrong. Uh unit conversion issue. Yeah, have you have you measured yourself in, in centimeters, but they're looking at inches? Good lord. I no, that shouldn't be a case that shouldn't be the case because like if you've got a 90 inch chest. Like, for example, if you're looking at a 90 centimeter chest circumference and you accidentally make that inches, you're in hospital with it. Like, that's that kind of conversion. With body measurements, conversions shouldn't be able to be made. Like, conversion mistakes shouldn't be able to be made. This quote. 
too malice when incompetence is sufficient. Oh yeah, like no, but uh, incompetence still deserves a bad review occasionally. What about once the guy messaged me to confirm because he didn't think it made sense? Yeah. Do you actually have a 118 centimeter waist? Yeah. <laughs> uh, 118 inch waist. Mm -hmm. Measure a garment you want to fit the same rather than a 3D measurement. Yep. Absolutely. For you, I offer only the finest. Usually that's when, um, so some places for sizing information, they give a chest measurement, which is a chest circumference. So from one point around the back, around the front to the same point. But a lot of t-shirt companies particularly, I know that this is a business, like a dinner shirt, but a lot of t-shirt companies specifically don't measure all the way around. They measure from side seam to side seam. That's when you want to lay a t-shirt flat and measure that across, because measuring across like your own chest is really, especially if you have anything that might stretch out the front of a shirt, you need to like, you need to measure it flat on a, on another garment. <clears throat> Bought myself some goodies, okay, Transmog Mountain, Venom Mammoth, fantastic! Fantastic. Um, and then this on the phone, I was like, that doesn't sound right, but I was too shy to be confrontational. And, but not even that, but you assume that the company knows what you should be ordering from them, surely. Yeah, that's just all round a little bit dodge. Long spear, eh? Seventeen fifty. Okay. Let's see if I can go turn in. I've got a couple. I've got two memories. Two memories. One I just bought. Oh no, three. No, that's an animus burial. Never mind. I have two memories. <clears throat> I'm gonna make clothes online. I haven't bought new clothes in a while either way. Uh, I buy all my clothes online now. As long as you know how to measure yourself properly, it's perfectly fine. And you buy from reputable websites that actually list their sizing information correctly. That's why I said if, if they don't have proper sizing guides on their website, I don't buy from them. Sorry. Just an amazing. Mm. They're so tasty. Why? I've got all those. I bought them from... on Alexia. Why is it reverted? God's sake. It says I don't have it anymore. Jump on back on Alexia. So they wouldn't be in this pickle. I mean, yeah, but you'd also have to wait about a month for the stuff to arrive. I don't know how soon, like, your requirements are. 
Wait, why is this still- Oh, did I not unfavorite that I didn't? Oops. Not bad. <clears throat> I do love your style clothes though. Occasionally you get something that's like something's not quite right. But um if you've got one of those little you know the uh little like sewing kits you can buy at um at like supermarkets and stuff has a couple of different colors of thread, like three two or three needles, like a hand sewing, like a mending kit. As long as you got one of those um Anything that comes a little bit wobbly from your style, you can absolutely patch up yourself. Works really well. I'm not sewing them myself or a kit new business idea. I mean, you can buy kits to crochet yourself socks or knit yourself stuff and all that kind of thing, so why not sewing? But no, um, what I mean is, like, you know when you get cheap clothing and occasionally there's, like, a loose thread somewhere or something? Um, once or twice, I've got quite a few bits of clothing from Nesta, like, quite a few. Once or twice I've had one that's come with a loose thread that when I pull it, stuff actually comes undone a little bit. But if I go in there with my needle and I just kind of patch up that like one centimeter gap where I yanked too hard, it's perfect and it never has any issues again, sort of thing. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. It's not DIY clothes, it's like I've paid 20 to 30 dollars less than I would have paid if I'd bought this from a, a, a retailer in Brisbane City. And like, <laughs> oh no, I have to do a tiny little bit of patch up. <clears throat> it happens with most cheap clothing. So it's mass produced and occasionally the factories miss the odd thing here or there. Trash, gotcha. <laughs> oh dear, yeah, no, not not like Shan. I've never actually had anything from Shan. Some of their stuff looked really, really pretty, but, um, that's online. I'm kind of, like, I get that temptation to do the whole, like, expected reality comparison thing, but I'm not sure, like, because those YouTube videos are so funny to watch, but I'm not sure it would translate to Twitch properly. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, sometimes clothes is an ill-fit, wonky human portions as well. Friend of mine can only buy custom-made shoes, which is hell expensive. I can imagine. Holy cow. I'm gonna blast leveling recently. I really enjoy leveling. It's one of my favorite things to do. friends who live on Shein only op shop and buy a small business handmade. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, I unfortunately can't afford to do that. I've got $23,000 worth of dental work to get done, so it's, uh, yeah, a little bit tricky to be able to spend anything on anything else, <laughs> really. Trying desperately to save up. Um, but, you know, maybe one day I'll be in a position where I can do that kind of stuff. It'd, be, it'd feel really awesome to be able to, honestly.
support local and artists and all that kind of stuff. Oh, do you grab like um uh um 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 I've seen people who will buy like a woven jumper or something and like unravel it for the wool and then make a different type of clothing, like a different piece of clothing with that wool because it was a really good quality wool, but the jumper wasn't their style or something. Excuse me. I'd love to have the time to do that. That'd be great fun. Mm. So far, the sand's fantastic. Congratulations. Sometimes hundreds, sometimes two. Keep him guessing. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's hilarious. Go you. Go you. I don't know. It must just be like, maybe it's where I live or something. But um, op shop clothing is insanely expensive like really expensive um which is like really unfortunate because I, I know like the price went up because the demand went up when everyone kind of like there was a whole lot of people who went through that whole thrift shopping kind of phase for a while there like it was the fashion for a bit not really currently but for a little while there it was and um it drove prices up in thrift stores which kind of out like priced it out of you know, people who are living on or below the poverty line, they, they can't, they literally cannot afford to get clothes anywhere else, and so they try to get them secondhand, but because of the whole thrift shopping thing, pushing up prices, they could no longer get clothes from there either, so they were kind of screwed. Um, so my, like, the op shops and stuff near me are really expensive, um, and if they do, if they've got, like, a clearance rack where things are five bucks or ten bucks or under, mm hmm um, yeah, it's, yeah, it kind of looks like someone's thrown together a, a, a cheap skirt out of a cutout bed sheet to use for a costume and then gone, ah, I'll donate it and then donated it and then they've priced it at $7. Like, it's just not good, it's not good stuff. Like, I, I don't, <sighs> yeah. anyway, uh, Neke, Shield, Thor, Ali, uh, Ikat, Ikat, Zem, and Kludgy, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. So, I buy dirt cheap stuff that is mass produced, and if it comes with a, a seam that didn't quite hit the mark, then I stitch it up myself. Uh, hand stitching, but I am proficient uh, with, a, with a sewing machine as well if I need to be. If it's like really messed up, I can, I can fix stuff up. No explaining, don't mind me. COVID, everyone got the ick feeling. Yeah. Yeah. I screwed a lot of things up there. The odd thing happened in Denmark. Thrift shops are driven by like a religious organization that has tax exceptions. But they jacked up prices even though they're a non profit. It's so weird. Yeah. Yep. If they can make money, the thing, like, the thing is, so when you donate clothes, Often those clothes, like the, the, the way that we used to think about it was you would donate clothing and that clothing would be given to a family in need. But nowadays you donate the clothing, they sell it, and then they use that money to help people in need. So if they can get more money for it, they will because it means they can help more people with that jacket. Potentially. That and, you know, inflation has meant that the price of everything has gone up. Um, so... Perhaps they need more of that money to help the same amount of people and stuff like that. But yeah, it's uh, there are a couple of places here in Australia that are run by particular religious... I mean, most of the op shops are run by some kind of religious organisation. There are a few here and there that are run by, like, research orgs, um, like medical research organisations, but they're very few and very far between. And usually they're not a chain. It's, like, one individual one in a certain place. Um, but... There is a particular religious org that I would never purchase from um, because they're, let's just say they pick and choose who they want to help, uh, which is not okay in my books. Uh, obviously, do you legit encourage yet? No, not yet. Not yet, sorry, cat. Um, isolated to Denmark, unfortunately. So you make the seams good. 
this big religious guys too doing the same the small sweet churches be hunted out little guys here at least yeah like if uh some churches like individual churches will have an on-site shop or something like that um sometimes right so this is not like these are all already learned so i don't know why it broke so i'm gonna hop back onto alexia and just check what happened there um, non-profit doesn't mean they aren't aiming to make money, just that the money made doesn't go to private shareholders. Correct! I work for a non-profit. We still make a profit. We're just not operating with the intention of making a profit. Besides the fact that with, like, op shops and stuff like that, all of that profit is designed to be funneled into either improving the services that they can provide or providing the services. But, yeah. I won't help that one particular one either. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's <laughs> like, last I know it, I'm sorry, cat. I, I genuinely have no idea on a time frame. I get the feeling it's probably not, I think it's probably going to be soon TM. Um, so like, if you are in desperate need, feel free. Like, seriously, don't, don't wait on me. Like, I truly appreciate, I really, really do. But I would prefer you to have a, a better quality gaming experience than wait on making me some commission, you know? Reminds me, I really need to clear out my drawers and donate the clothes I don't wear. Yes, doesn't become an issue where they have tax benefits, might be able to choke out local businesses. No. How would they choke out a local business? In what way? They provide a completely different product to other local businesses. Unless the other business is a, um, uh, what's it? Um, uh, op shop. By the sun well. Ah, beans with the resub 14 months. Thank you so much. Much appreciate. Why is this not learned? I got the achievement for it. It literally popped just then, but there you go. Now that's, no. button. It still says it's not learned and I'm wearing it. What? What has happened? I'm so confused. Thoughts on Dragonflight? I'm super pumped. Mm. I'm keen. I'm keen for more information. I like dragons and flying, so yes. But I know some people, I'm sure some people would never exactly be able to push out standard businesses. Yeah. They're offering an entirely different product. Um, they're offering pre-loved goods. Uh, like... There might be some people who, like, for example, if they're looking for a toaster, they might go, go to, like, Maya and then check them out and go to Kmart and check them out and go to an op shop and check out the toasters there. But they're not going to squash... Uh, they, they might even go check out like an electronic store that's not a chain that's owned by a, a you know a, a mum and pop store or whatever but like it's still they're offering a completely different product why are these all marked as no i don't understand retract my statement that's okay it's it's just kind of like yeah i don't think their tax exempt status will help them in that way um the re like the idea behind having them be tax exempt is that if they don't have to pay taxes they have more money to do their charitable things with instead of paying 10 grand in taxes they can feed five thousand people with that money like that's the idea behind it you don't pay taxes so that that money can go to, towards other good ventures to help the community and stuff um i don't think it did can anyone explain to me why this is happening like i bought these with honor they're soul bound okay that one worked but this one is equipped and it's still saying that it's not not learned And this one, I it said source 102282, 107282 has been learned. 
but it still has an X in the in the collected thing. Maybe for a bit with ATT, not sure why. And at least with Arsenal, you have to relog for some. It's not an Arsenal though. I bought all of these things individually. I just did reload. Try selling to vendor and buying back. I don't want to because they were sold in fucking Ouroboros. <laughs> Refresh ATT. I don't even have ATT open. Ugh. This is can I mog it anyway? The cross is in the tooltips. I'm pretty sure that's can I mog it, not. I don't even know anymore. I have too many bloody add ons. And now they're. But I did that on my on my monk. I refreshed it and it didn't update. It said no, that's wrong. Like. So now it says I've got them here. Do any of these have. Any of these still have the timer on them? They shouldn't. That one does. Okay. Let's refresh here and jump back on the monk and bloody oh. Like, cause that's the thing, when I logged into the monk, it was like, you only have this many things. And then I did a refresh and then it was like, oh. I'm like, why? Like you were happy with it before. Why are you all of a sudden unhappy with it now? It just pisses me off. When you program something to do a thing, it should do that thing. How how do you break that? How can it become that broken? I just don't get it. Yeah. ATT for me. Oh, okay. All right. No. Ugh. Transmog ATT involved or not? Yeah, Transmog in at, like Transmog as an entire system ha still has some pretty chunky bugs or it's intentional operation, but we don't know that it, that's how it's supposed to work because Blizzard's never told us kind of thing. Like there are some big, ow. There are some big gaps in how Transmog as a whole works and it's just a bit strange. When technology isn't behaving. Are we playing just state the obvious now or what's the, <laughs> come on. Are you trying to make fun of me? Is that what's happening here? Yeah, have you turned it off and on again? That's it. The universal technology advice. Much better. That's what I want. I wanted to buy a long spear. Which I don't think I can buy yet. Yeah, 1750. All right, all good. It appears to be working now. I'm not gonna refresh the bloody list because fuck that. <laughs> it's fine, everything is fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Oh, hey, Seeker. Good evening. What I've got. Look what I got. Everything was in fact not fine. Look you. Isn't <laughs> it? I think I just stabbed my nail in it. Oh no, I missed. Good. Isn't it pretty? Look at it. Oh look, it's the camera. Hello. The game. It's really pretty. Sorry, make up a nail stream. Guess what I'm gonna be doing. I also got I also got some pencils. <laughs> Two of them are free. I got my my black eyeliner. 
and I got my uh, eyebrow pencil in Auburn. It's a beautiful color and it's just the right amount of pigment, so I can't bugger it up. And, uh, and free gifts because the whole package was uh, over the threshold. Um, so I got a lip liner, which is kind of like a lighter shade of coral, which is beautiful. And a brown eyeliner too. So I'm very happy. Very happy. Center has arrived. Whoosh, I need you to wait at 8.30 at night. The fuck? Jesus, well done. Weekly event at the same time, it counts. To counts towards what? Sorry, Nick. I'm not sure what you mean, sorry. It's awesome. Yeah, I'm I'm really, really happy. Really happy. Um and 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 um Throne and Mello were finally able to touch base with each other. I have a feeling there was some like spam filters and stuff getting in the way of them being able to communicate. Uh, but they got there and uh my the rest of my package, the the stuff from February, shipped today. And my Oz post tracking says it should arrive by Tuesday, um, which is because Monday is a public holiday, uh, in Queensland at least. And Australia Post are delivering on Saturdays now, but I'm not going to be here tomorrow. So, uh, yes, I'm very excited. So next Wednesday, I should be able to unbox some other new pretty shiny things, including a couple of lipsticks and an eyeshadow. Eee! So excited. Delivery Star Trek. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Bobby G wins count in Comstom. No, I know. I did that on Alexia. Um, I don't think I've done it on Melissa, but eh. Uh, everyone should contribute to the community goal, indeed, so that you can watch me put on as full a face of Mellow as I possibly can. Um, I have lipstick, I have lip liner, I have eyeshadow, I have eyeliner, I have brow pencil. They don't make a mascara. Uh, I don't have brow definer, but it has been purchased from Throne for me. It just hasn't been ordered yet. It's still sitting on the processing stage, um, like brow gel. So, um, so you put the pencil on and then you kind of put gel at the top. Yep. Uh, they don't make foundation. I have a blush. They do make bronzer and highlighter, but only in a palette. And I can't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I should get, because I have a lot of highlighter and a lot of bronzer and I feel like I should try to whittle down that a little bit first, which I'm not going to be able to because it takes you like three years to use one up. But that's fine. <clears throat> but yeah, so almost a full face of mellow. And I can use, I can do my hair. Uh, all that's left now is for me to pair up with a nail art company. That'd be great. Nationwide Monday, majority at least. Uh, it's Labor Day. Not Labor Day is a different date for other people in Australia, I thought. Queensland's Labor Day is oddly different to everybody else's. Um, I know it's also, also like May Day or whatever, but that's somewhere else. Oh no, sorry, shit, that was last week. That, that was this Monday. It's uh, Anzac Day on Monday. Gotcha. God, I'm a fucking numpty. I, it's too many, too many public holidays. <laughs> but yes, Anzac Day. Uh, Australia, New Zealand, Army Corps. It's, our, it's like our Memorial Day for the military. Anzac Day, April 25th. I can't believe it's already Anzac Day. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Um... We go, yes! Agreed! See, you can choose the blue voice changer. They go. Is it sarcasm? And oh, 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 for God's sake. Um, I'm being the recipient of them. Um, my mouse keeps bugging out when I get stuck on the other screen. It's weird. <clears throat> Should see if Throne and Hollow Taco can be a thing. That's tempting. That's tempting. 
I wonder if they'd be able to keep any of their products in stock long enough for the order to go through properly. Is it Monday? It is, yep. It is. Ah, I didn't have that achievement on this tune. Brilliant. But it is following me. Yeah, I keep. Look, there's too many and I keep getting them really messed up. It's fine. It's fine. It's been these four short weeks in a row is killing us at work. Is Queensland like a state? Yes, Queensland's a state. For you, in Queensland, Labor Day is two weeks away, a week and a half. That's what I'm saying. Like, Queensland has a really odd Labor Day compared to the rest of the fucking country. Um, so, yeah, it's Anzac Day on the 25th, Labor Day, public holiday in Queensland. And it's a, it's May Day, excuse me. Uh, it's May Day in the Northern Territory. Uh, ACT has Reconciliation Day in May. It's Western Australia Day in June. Queen's birthday in June in ACT, New South Wales, Northern Territory, South Australia, Tassie, Victoria, Cocos and Keeling Islands, Heard and McDonald Islands. Note Queensland was not listed. Um... Labor Day in here. Oh, I've got Eka. August. Uh, Queen's birthday for Western Australia is in September. Uh, Labor Day for ACT New South Wales and South Australia is in October. Same day as the Queen's birthday in Queensland. Like, it's just all sorts of, all sorts of wacky. Cup day, I was on the 1st of November this year. Yeah, everything's just, it, everything's just for cup. Everything's just for cup. Um... But uh, apparently there is no Labor Day in, in June. Unless I somehow scrolled past it, but I don't think I would have. But I mean, hey, maybe I did. Via's uh, Instagram, have you checked how many followers I have, Seeker? Lich for sure. Okay, let's do Lich. Um, hey, Chrissy. Doing well, thank you. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Uh, Queen's Labor Day is first Monday of May. It's like half my tape practice, you know, like holidays. Oof. Send it off for my eyes. Be good to know. Is this really good if you for all of it? Yeah. There is a comping of the stomp. Yeah, pretty well. Pretty well. Uh. Where am I? Fish King! There we go. Uh. So, uh what is Thanksgiving? Don't know. We don't have Thanksgiving in Australia. Um. Queen's birthday is in November, I believe they did it try and spread the public holidays out, yep. Uh, we don't do Thanksgiving, just had a Queen's birthday, I mean, that was just too much, but let us have so many Mondays in a row, yeah, I know, right? Did Oz adopt any British celebrations? I don't know, probably. Uh, I'm okay, still a bit sick from the flu, but uh, glad you had a great day, thank you, I'm glad you did too. Great, where is that? It's from someone else, I don't even know. I'm Try it because Thanksgiving is very, 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 very particularly a Northern American thing. Like the history of it is about North America geographically doing stuff in the location with various peoples who are native and not native to the area. It has zero bearing to literally any other country in the world. Zero. None. At all. Like, <laughs> contrary to popular belief, America is not the center of the world. Like, <laughs> Um, yes, we are still a part of the Commonwealth, so the Queen is still our sovereign, which is why we have Queen's birthday and things like that. 
Um, but beyond that, I don't like. I don't know if there are any British traditions that we've adopted, or if there are any that would be worth adopting. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that. Um, and uh, no, <laughs> no. Oh, I was just having a scan through. Not, not anything particular. Uh, you, I know, right? Oh my god, I tweeted about it last night. It seemed to have helped. Ah, uh, I'm not in the queue, am I? I'm an update, that's fine. Ah, uh, today's week in a nutshell, clusterfuck. Yep, only reason we've had so many Mondays in a row is because Easter keeps shifting. Which was based on the full moon, are the Native Americans in Australia? Okay, say that back to yourself. Aloud, if it helps. Like, you are, you are trolling. This is, this is a troll attempt. It has to be either that or you're genuinely, like, dropped out of school and, like, you know, or something. So native means that that's where they come from. There are Americans of various types, native and otherwise, who live in Australia. And I'm sure they probably do celebrate Thanksgiving, but it is not an Australian holiday. Because it has nothing to do with us. Literally nothing to do with us. Again, Fel, no. It has nothing to do with us. Why would we adopt something that has literally nothing to do with us? No. <laughs> Black Friday is a shopping thing that is global. That has been adopted everywhere. But Thanksgiving particularly is exceptionally North American and no one else actually cares. Like, sorry to tell you, but we don't give a shit. Like, it's your thing. You do you boo. Like, celebrate your invasion and all that kind of stuff. Like, that's it's great, whatever. Um, it's got nothing to do with us. Thanks for dinner. Fuck. Fork loin chop, uh, kale and baby spinach, and steamed veggies. Mm. I'm assuming, Sheba, that you're directing that comment at Fell, because yes, I do recognise that. Um, isn't the Thanksgiving in Canada based on something different than the U than the one in the US as well? Or have I misunderstood that particular thing? Like it's it has cultural history and it has like, you know, all that kind of stuff, but I th I think I thought it was separate, like the the US Thanksgiving was this and then the Canadian run is that. Based on harvest. Yeah, so it's a different thing, yeah. They're called the same thing, but they're celebrating different occurrences. Yeah. Um, cool, so I did remember that correctly. That makes me feel a hell of a lot better. Thank you for confirming. <laughs> oh, I haven't done Black Friday until recently and I still don't like calling it Black Friday. It was a terrible event in Australia. It was. It was. We also had Black Saturday. Black Saturday was my birthday. And it was pretty freaking horrible. Really, really, really horrible. Um, fear thoughts on doing community morgue raids. Like, don't know what's too diff difficult to sort of like BFA raids. Uh, yeah, yeah, but I tried doing those in the past, and no one was really interested, and we didn't end up having enough people to be able to do it properly. So, like, maybe. But um, yeah, I don't know. I seem to be having far more success with doing, like, Loot Appraiser Challenge slash transmog farming for dungeons and stuff like that. Uh, it seems to be more popular with the community. I, d I don't know why that is exactly, like, maybe I'm misinterpreting the data or something, but, uh... 
definitely have more people involved in that. I think it might be because people feel like they can jump in and jump out whenever they want, whereas if they're jumping into a raid, they're committing. The word raid is scary because there's mechanics and stuff that they might have to know, etc, etc. Um, whereas dungeons, you can just go through an arcane explode everything to death. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it, it didn't seem to click well with my community, but that's okay. Maybe in the future. <clears throat> Uh, we must do adopt Thanksgiving. You should vote on who's president too. Yeah, I... Have you seen our prime minister? I wouldn't trust us with that either. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're absolutely trolling now. I'm gonna... I'm gonna just sit you down for a minute because you're getting kind of annoying. Um, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm not sure whether you're trolling or just supremely culturally insensitive or one of those really bullheaded Americans who thinks everyone should be American. Um, but either way, you need to chill. It's not, it's not the thing. Um, Thanksgiving, that is, yeah. Uh, I called Thanksgiving, I think, for the bounty of the past year. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. Um, I have been like a water drain for sure, of course. Of course. Uh, is there a First Nation relationship for the Harvest Celebration? I suppose it's because we don't have to be on stream. Possibly fucking up. Personally enjoyed it though. Of course, of course. I'm just going with heating up a cup of tea. Yeah, no. Um. <laughs> Neither would I. The King's Rest. He's up all the mounts always have. Yeah, look, so there are there are definitely some politicians that are better than others in in, a, in Australia at the top end specifically. Um, and we've got a we've got a federal election coming up, so all that information is going to be made very very public, and we're going to have to make our choices. Um, for those of you who are not aware, uh, voting is mandatory in Australia. Uh, you have to go in, you have to mark a ballot. It is uh, not, none of the ballots are personally identifiable. A lot of people go in, spend two minutes standing in a booth, and then drop a blank slip of paper into the thing. You know, that's, that's your choice, it's your right to do that. Uh, but it is mandatory, you can be fined for not voting. Um, but I think it's... Personally, I think it's a good thing. I, I understand that a lot of other countries don't have mandatory voting, and that's fine. Uh, but I think that, like, for me, for example, at, at one point the feeling was, well, I have to, so I might as well actually put some thought into it. It, you know, it, it's two minutes out of my life once every three or four years or whatever the hell it is. Um, I don't even know. I just go and do it when they tell me I have to. Um, so I do put some thought in it, I do research uh, on the, the local people and, and all that kind of stuff and I make a decision based on that. Um, you don't have to, obviously. You can, there, are, there are a lot of people who just vote for the same party every time, regardless of what the policies are. Uh, there are some people who draw penises on their ballot and then put it in the box. It's practically an Australian tradition at this point. Uh, if you are intending to vote, actually vote, please don't vote and draw a penis on your ballot. There is a chance it will invalidate it, or I, I, either it either there's a chance or it absolutely does invalidate it. So like, take the opportunity to make your vote count. Um, but we also have our our system of voting is really like honestly, it's pretty damn good. Um, like you allocate all the votes. Let's say there's five parties, you give everyone their votes. Um, no one has more than fifty percent. So whoever has the lowest amount they drop out of the running. You've got four parties left. The votes that were for party five go to their second priority, their second. So you, instead of ticking a box, you mark it one through five, in this case, if there's five parties, you mark it through one through five in order of your preference, preferential voting. So your, may, your most favoritist person, you put as the number one and the old racist fuckwit, you put as number five. Um, there's always gonna be an old racist fuckwit on every single ballot. You cannot avoid it, it's Australia. Uh, so when you've got parties one through five and no one has, they, no one has a clear majority, 
50 plus percent of the vote. Uh, they, whoever's got the lowest amount of votes, they take it out. You've now got a four party race and party five's votes that they had all move to priority two. So some of them will go to one, some to two, some to three, and some to four. Then they look at it. If nobody still has a clear 50% majority, they take out the lowest number of votes again. It's a three party race and party four's votes go out to one, two, and three according to their next preference. If they had voted one for party four, it goes to number two. If they had voted one for party five, two for party four, it goes to their third preference. And they keep dishing that out over and over and over again until they have one person who has 50% or more of the vote and that person is considered the winner. Funding from the government for the, I think it's from the government, it's not from the AEC, I'm pretty sure it's from the government. Um, funding for the parties, if you get over a certain number of votes, even if you are the last in the race, even if you're party five, if you get over a certain amount of votes, you get a certain number of cents per vote you received. So let's say it's a dollar per vote and it's 500 votes minimum. If you got 503 votes, you will get $503 to use towards your next campaign. So you use that money to build your presence, to advertise your, your policies and all that kind of stuff. And if they're good and if people like them, more people vote for them next time because they know that they exist now. So those people vote for them. Even if they don't win, they get more money to spend on their campaigning for next time. It Personally, I think it's a really good system because we get to have a say in preference. There is also an option, um, you can vote below the line or above the line, so you can put the parties in order or all of the individual candidates in order, which takes a fair bit longer. Um, you can also just put a one in a box and then leave it blank and, what, and leave the rest blank. What that does is whichever party the number one belongs to, that party has their own preferences on how they would vote. Of course, they put themselves first, but then they order the other parties in their own preference. And so instead of using your preferences that you wrote on the slip, they use the party that you put the one for. It uses their preferences to reallocate if that party doesn't win. Um, so like, it's, I like it. It's a really fun kind, like, it's a really interesting system how it all actually works, but it seems to work. It seems to work. We never get any like, shock results like ever uh neke silver skull vild kata talus mars uh, uh zakarin and meaty congratulations to all of you on your bonus shits and we usually know who's won the day of the vote <laughs> usually oh token chest at the end of the map nice love that um I uh, don't actually know. I don't think so as far as I know. It's purely just to celebrate Harvest. I'm now reminded of the Simpsons thing where the two aliens ask you to vote for them. If we voted for our Prime Minister at all, unless you're in his electorate, you did not vote for him. He is leader because he was picked by his mates. Um, thanks for the information sharing. Uh, and I'm not going further with politics without a prompt. Uh, the extender works, thank God. First cost inside the thing, I'm bloody glad. Red says proposal vote for the other week. Yeah, oh, thank you for the reminder. I need to do that. Because, um... I don't need a democracy sausage. Like, it's nice, but I don't need one. Uh, can I place my orc slayer again? I can! They're all, like, massively expensive these days anyway, so... <laughs> can't really afford five bucks for a snag. Uh, brilliant! May I oh, I can buy my pike. Wait. Like, do I have the long spear? I'm afraid of doing this, but I'm going to. Oh, no, it's because I'm down the bottom. It's the long spear. Yeah, okay, good. 1750. Fantasmic. Equip it so it can't... Oh, wait, actually, that's an upgrade. <laughs> that's really funny. Ah, now I need to go to Org because I don't need anything else from the Arbos. Brilliant. <clears throat> what happens if your vote isn't counted? Yep, yeah, so when you go to a... So either you get a postal vote and then it comes back and they scan the barcode to cross your name off the list. 
Um, but the barcode is on like the on the outside baby envelope, da not da da baby uh, well, not the outside outside. Of, they give you a return like a reply paid envelope, baby and then inside that envelope is another envelope with the barcode on it, and then inside that envelope is your vote. So it's like yeah. Uh, and so that crosses your name off list. If you are going to a polling place, you give them your name. Um, and if they can't find you, they'll need you, like your address or whatever, and they'll cross you off the, the list as having voted, give you your papers, and then you go to a booth. From there, you can, and even if you're doing a postal vote, you can absolutely open up the envelope, take everything out, fold up the blank votes, put it back in the envelope, put it in the reply, and then send it. You absolutely can. Like... You absolutely can, um, but I don't recommend it, obviously. Like, this is the future of, like, our country <laughs> you're talking about. Um, it's worth at least putting a little bit of research into. Um, the AEC usually has some pretty good, like, you know, one, like, one small paragraph summary of what a particular candidate believes in and wants to aim for and stuff like that, you can go deeper into it if you really want to, but that's like at the base kind of scrape through. And if you pop in your electorate, it'll give you a list of all of the people you will be able to vote for, plus their little two sentence thing. Uh, and you can have a read through and pick one you like, just pop a one and then send it off. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's not difficult to do. It can, it's like the way it happens on the back end is, can be quite overwhelming. But uh, in terms of what we actually do, it's really not. Um, so you get your name ticked off. Correct. Uh, thing I really want apparently does not exist is a Bluetooth extender. Yeah, not, nah, not at all. Uh, family friend go to jail for a few weeks cons for consistently not voting. Yeah. Mm, voting blank is a legit vote. It is a vote of no confidence at times. Absolutely. Yep, and they do log when they're looking at the percentages of, you know, percentage of votes for this party and percentage of votes for that party. They do also log a percentage of blank votes or otherwise invalid votes, like penis votes. Um. <clears throat> so that way they can see, like, if they're getting an extremely oh, high. Oh, Jay. Thank you so much for the donation. Get that sausage treat yourself. <laughs> Thank you, democracy sausages. They are, it, it, they're, God, they're a bloody right at this point. Um, Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Uh, but yeah, so they do register like what percentage of blank votes or invalid votes that they receive. Um, and if that number gets particularly high, I would imagine that they would they wouldn't be able to like take action per se, but it would be a clear signal to the governor general that shit ain't right, yo. Like something, something is not going on. Like something needs to change. Um, so our governor general, because America won't have one of those, uh, and imagine that are not a lot. Uh, some, some other company, uh, companies, some other countries should do. Is it a, like, is the governor general a thing in all Commonwealth countries? I imagine it would be. Um, but I'm not actually sure. But yeah, in Australia, we have a governor general um, who is essentially uh, the queen's emissary. They report back to the queen um, and they basically have the queen's authority to do bits and pieces in her absence sort of thing. Um, like when, when we vote a government in, um, instead of the Queen coming out here to say, yes, I'm happy with you being the Prime Minister or whatever, um, the Governor General does that uh, and, and says, okay, yep, you've fulfilled the criteria for being a government, for forming government, so get on with it. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I got a protection buff. Makes me happy. Uh, I'm TikTok. Well, I've heard that could be a thing. But wow, I didn't know if it was an old wives' tale. Uh, anyone but Scramo? Yeah, look. At this point, the Liberals, they, they know that they can't. There's no way they can win this. And if they do, I will lose so much faith in this country. Not that I have a whole lot to start with, um, but, like, I'm fine. Like, I'm happy. Like, the country itself... We, we kind of have that, because it's Australia, we have that she'll be right mentality a lot of the time. 
Um, and so we kind of just, no matter what happens, we just get on with it and do what we have to do sort of thing, regardless of who's in charge or how crap it is or whatever. We just get what needs to be done, done. Um, but... Oh, good lord. If they actually think we'd do well with the Liberals in charge for another... Well, particularly with ScoMo in charge. I, I'm honestly... I feel like if we had a different Liberal in charge, we might still be okay. I don't have a problem, per se, with the Liberals in general. ScoMo's just... he's a puppet. He's a mouthpiece for, like... Yeah, and he just he keeps putting his foot in his mouth and it's embarrassing. Just so ridiculously embarrassing. Um uh, Prime Minister of you never heard of a comb or a brush. <laughs> Are you is that Boris? I just I want to take Boris to a barber so fucking badly. Oh, I made a big point in the media as the main example. Ah, uh, change that now. It doesn't invalidate the vote anymore. Oh, doesn't it? Fantastic. I just, yeah, it's like the last thing you want to do is actually have, like, make your vote heard, but then invalidate it. Like, it's just, yeah, that would make me really sad. So don't do that. But yeah, um, if, if you can still draw a dick on your ballot and it'll still be valid, then by all means, go right ahead. Phenomenal. Any other marking the boxes correctly makes it invalid. That's what I thought. That's why I said it. But, like, double check. I'm sure there's- it'll be on the internet somewhere. I really like that system, actually. It's- honestly, no system is perfect. No- no system of government is perfect, I don't think. Not one that we have currently installed on the planet, anyway. Um, there are some governments that are doing a really bang-up job, and others that are not. Uh, and some of those were elected in great ways, and some of them were not. Uh, and all that kind of- like, it's- it's not, like, no way in hell am I going out there saying that Australia's got it right. There are a lot of things we've got wrong. But in terms of voting, I think it's a pretty good system. I'm sure there would be benefit- like, I'm sure there would be some- some positive changes that could be made. Uh, I don't know what they are, because I'm- I'm not a poli sci major. Um, I, I have no idea about that kind of stuff. All I know is what actually, what does happen here, and I like it. I think it's a good system, personally. It's not changing. It's not changing. Uh, that's good. It's a new Bluetooth range. Oh, curious thing. It's over 10% required, it's like 250-ish per vote. There you go. Yeah, I, I wasn't- I had no idea, so I just pulled numbers out of the air. Like, out of the air. So, <laughs> but yeah. It only counts if they were your first preference. Yeah. It has to go- it has to be votes for you. That's- yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the party uses those $500 in pizza? That's up to them. That's up to the party. They get funding because they successfully campaigned. Um, it's up to the party how that those funds are spent, but the vast majority of them um, spends it on trying to get more power. Because to humans, it would appear that power is more valuable than pizza. The whole house and backyard. Yeah, nah, that's not gonna work. If they're Bluetooth, connect them to your phone. Take your phone with you. Afternoon. Hey, Mystic. Uh, look, stream had a bit of a major hiccup right in the middle. I had to turn the stream off and do some bits and bobs before I could manage to turn it back on again. But apart from that, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Hope you're doing well. Um, that's not always to do with range. That's also sometimes to do with walls. Keep that in mind. Extenders won't always help with that because you've still got to get the signal through a goddamn wall. And depending on what the wall is made of, that's not necessarily an easy feat. 
Focus got nice. That's more fair than our system. I agree. I think the American system of voting is silly. I, I don't think a lot of it makes sense. From a, like, I know it, it makes sense from a people trying to get power perspective um, and trying to get as many votes and stuff as they can um, and turn it red or blue or whatever it happens to be. But um, yeah, it's uh, from a, from a like, it, it doesn't make logical sense. In my opinion. And I, I did, like, I don't know super duper how the American system works, don't get me wrong, but, um, I, I did do some research into it and stuff when, um, the last couple of elections were happening, just because I had a lot of American viewers and a lot of them were in pretty scary places and so I wanted to try to understand it as much as I could to sort of so I did do some looking into it but not like I, I couldn't explain it to you very well if that makes any sense um, but yeah from what I remember it's not a very good system so I have to go over the bench it cuts back in yeah mine's fine until I open the fridge My headphones are perfectly fine until I open the fridge. Not hiding behind the door of the fridge. Literally, the fridge is on, like, it's computer, me, fridge. If I open the fridge facing me, my headphones got out. I'm planning to get 4% or more of the first reference, and they get $2.91.4 uh, per vote. Awesome, Kay. Thank you so much for checking that. I wish they gave us more education maybe in school so people didn't leave school thinking they're picking the person rather than their policies. Yeah, I was assuming they could change the person at the top of the hat. They can. Absolutely. Um, I, I would agree. I wish there was more education around it. However, as, uh, as former teachers have pointed out to me, or a particular former teacher that I'm not going to call out just in case they want to stay anonymous for now, um, so please respect that, because uh, I know some of you who will know who I'm talking about, but um, teachers have enough pressure on them. If you're going to teach them something new, you have to take something out of the curriculum because there is already not enough space, like not enough time in the year to teach everything that's on the curriculum. Things have to be sped through, kids get left behind because they don't understand something, but you can't stop and spend a week explaining it because you'll fall behind on the rest of the curriculum. So if, if we try to teach them about elections and the government, something else has to give. Um, and everything that's there is currently there for a reason, so it'll take a, like, a massive overhaul to really dig into that kind of stuff. Uh, and as adults, everyone seems to think that they're above learning, so that's fun. <laughs> uh... Let's go. Where am I supposed to- this one. Mm-hmm. Just make much better democracy snags. Yeah, Never probably. But it's not really a democracy snag, is it? You have to like make it yourself. It doesn't like raise money for the um like seventeen fifty. Doesn't raise money for the school you're voting at, etc. etc. That's a bit of a snag if you're trying to afford a snag. It's how much democracy sausages go for in my neighborhood. They also offer vegan dogs and baked goods that are gluten-free and or nut-free and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, as they should, obviously, but um, everything's just really, really expensive. Um, the last one we went to were offering fancy snags with, um, like, they were organic mixed meat um, on, like, a brioche bun and blah, 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 for ten bucks. No. <laughs> no. Maybe all onions are on top of my sausage. 
such as the onions, yes. Onions, paper onions, and chilies. Yeah, these little Franski Spanish onion, uncooked, crumbly, tasty cheese. Listen to have its little soft hot dog star roll. Maybe the onion and I'll try it. Oh, Vietnamese Saigon star roll. The Raven Lord Mount. Hey, congrats, Panda. Well done. We made you listen over me. Congrats. You also look up existing members. Voting record in Parliament, which is sometimes more important than what they say is important and correct. Indeed, kind human indeed. So that will set you back twenty-seven dollars and fifty cents. Um a bit more max free channel point donations get us over the line on our goal. Oh my god, we're so close. Top. Countries in the Commonwealth whose head of state is the Queen should have a gov Governor General esque role. Yeah, it might just be called something different, was more my thought. Um, but yeah, they'll definitely they'll have an emissary to the Queen, for sure. Excuse me, not mentioned to pickles, this last one's so made cheese fingers as tops. It is both major parties are as bad as each other. Correct! And now, so are the Greens! That's alright. I look up who I can vote for in my electorate, and I make my decisions based on that. No point in like if if none if I really don't like any of them at all, then I will I will just put in a blank ballot. Or write your all crap and put that in the ballot. Let's see if we want to leave Denmark Oz is on top of the list. Say it's gonna be okay. Oh, Australia is a fantastic place to live. The government's just crap. There. Like we have this thing called question time. I'm sorry, Australians, I'm going to talk about question time. Feel free to mute me or, like, go somewhere else, take a walk for now. Um, uh, question time. What, what I thought, what I imagined question time would be is is a time for, you know, you've got policies that are ahead of the, the that have been placed in front of the politicians and everyone needs to vote on them. The vote's coming up in a few weeks and stuff. Question time is an opportunity for party members to question each other like, hey, in that policy you put forth that we're supposed to be voting on in two weeks, I noticed you mentioned this bit here. The wording's not quite clear. What what would happen in this particular circumstance? Oh, well, in that particular circumstance, it would mean this and blah, 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 blah. Uh, we may have to like, you know, maybe we'll have to revise the wording to make sure that that's clearer. But thank you for asking. We'll, we'll, we'll get on that. No. Question time is when politicians from each side of the bench stand up and yell obscenities at each other and then go, ooh, when someone delivers a, what they consider, fairly sizable burn. I'm not even kidding. It's fucking toddlers. It looks like a goddamn fucking kindergarten, except they can all talk. And apparently have degrees of some kind. Some of them. Most of them, maybe. I don't know. It's disgusting. It's, it's an embarrassment to the fucking country on the global stage. It's ridiculous. The government's a joke. The country's fine. Which really is a testament to how well we can get along with shit leadership, isn't it? Not everyone in leadership is shit. There are a lot of really good people in politics in Australia who are doing their absolute best to make this country a better place for everyone. There just aren't many of them. <clears throat> Anyone but Scomo. <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, shit and shit light. Correct. I uh, hated pickles as a kid. You make it very as adult. I make very as Grosses, context, liberal equals right wing in Australia. Uh, yeah, but not, not like in America. Not like in America. So you guys have like, if you've got like center... That's a left for you. Okay, good. So you've got like red and blue and like center. We have like liberal and labor. They're a hell of a lot more close to center than than your stuff is. Like America seems like you've just got extremists everywhere. Like everyone's either a right wing extremist or a left wing extremist. There don't seem to be too many people floating anywhere around near the middle. Whereas most of Australian politics is near the middle. Most. Not all. Most. <clears throat> I just, like, I need to put your context in context because you think right wing 
And that comes with a whole lot of crap. We are not, none of us are that right wing. Well, that's a lie. There are absolutely a lot, but not in terms of like, not many politicians at all. Not at all. Also, most of our politicians don't understand what social media is. So they accidentally share their personal porn searches to their feeds um, rather than using it effectively to build a voter base. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Not, not even kidding. I really wish I was, I promise you. Um, yes, Boris, definitely need to vote for independence. Um, I always thought it was extra fun for the entire world to have their right wing be the Liberal Party. Yep, yep. Liberal versus Labour. Labour is our other party of, of the two party preferred system. We have Liberal and Labour. Uh, we also have the Greens, who, as you can imagine, tend to be pretty environmentally minded. Um, however, in the last two decades, so back when I was a kid, um, the the common saying around election time was they're both the, they're both as bad as each other. Fuck it, I'll just vote for the Greens. And then the Greens got control of a state because enough people threw their vote away and voted for the Greens, and the Greens got an entire state. Pretty sure they still have that state. Isn't Dan? Dan's a green greedy, isn't he? Or is he Labour? Oh no, he's Labour. Dan Andrews is Labour. Right. So yeah, they got, um, was Andrew someone? No, I know it's Daniel Andrews, but I'm pretty sure that, but yeah, they, the Greens got a state. Uh, and then everyone went, kind of went, oh. Um, so we still have this whole two-party preferred thing, but the Greens often end up getting or anywhere up to a third of the vote somewhere. Um, which is pretty huge uh, for a third party. Uh, but that's possible because of our voting system. Uh, because you can put the Greens as your first preference and then put Labour or Liberal as your second and third or whatever. Uh, we have a ton of parties in Australia. Um, the only three with power are Liberal, Labour and the Green. Oh, and the Nationals. But um, they only have power because they're in bed with the Liberals permanently. They are called the Coalition. It is a coalition government uh, where it's, you know, neither Liberal nor Labour could get the 50% required. So Liberal went to the Nationals and said, yo, come with us. We'll make one of you the vice PM and we'll make a majority government. And they went, yeah, all right. And so they did. Um, but that, well, um, Barnaby Joyce. I, I will never forget this conversation with my father. Barnaby Joyce, a few years back, uh, had a marital affair exposed. And I told Dad about this, laughing. I said, did you hear about Barnaby? And he's gone, who's Barnaby? I said, oh, the Vice Prime Minister. Um, like, Deputy, Deputy Prime Minister, there's the word I'm looking for. Um, Deputy Prime Minister. And he's gone, no, I haven't heard anything about that. What did he do? I said, oh, he cheated on his wife. Had an affair. Dad immediately, he's gone, he's a politician, right? I said, yeah. He immediately launched into, that shouldn't matter. You know, his personal life is not business thing. You know, you know, he can do whatever the hell he likes in his personal, as long as he's not letting it affect the way he helps the country and blah, 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 blah. Um, dad's, a, dad's a permanent resident, not a, not a citizen, just FYI. Uh, and I let him kind of run through his rant a little bit. And he was right, like, he, his stuff is right. You know, if, if somebody um, likes to paint miniatures, that shouldn't color the public's opinion. I know cheating is a bit bigger than that, but you know, it's a touchy subject, so whatever. Um, but, and I just, I let him, I let him have a rant for a bit and I said, I said, dad, yeah, he ran on a family first platform. Oh, yeah, fuck him then. <laughs> End of conversation. <laughs> like family first platform, cheats on his wife. Good job, mate. Anyway. They're all idiots. Most, sorry. They're not all idiots. Most of them are idiots. Um, yes, yes, eggplants for all. Ah, uh, can do pickles, maybe it's a fair system. I'm a, I, I think it, it, oh, so the fair system, I'm actually, before I agree or disagree with you, Ruby, I would like to know which system you're referring to, America or US, because I'm uh, quite a bit behind on chat. Um, the stream apparently I missed two hours of it. Yeah, no, we had to turn it off halfway through because it went break and I had to 
change some settings and stuff. Um, I'm gonna be early. That's okay, Ali. Rest well. Rest well seems to make more sense than what we have in the US. Uh, it's only make third more parties worthwhile. Exactly, and that's the whole idea: is that you can choose to give a smaller party power without wasting your vote, without throwing away your vote. Whereas in America, you don't have that. If you if you try to vote for someone who isn't one of the two majors, um, it, it basically you throw away your vote because it doesn't it doesn't count towards anything else, which is crap. Uh, power makes pizza. It can. It can. Power goes out, the oven goes off, unless you have an old school fire oven. There was a debate on Sky News the other day compared to our candidate scrum seems sane. Oh god, I'm so sorry. Still vote for Labour, but yeah. Uh, I think the fact that popular vote doesn't dictate the winner in the US elections is so very weird. I mean, popular vote doesn't dictate the winner here either, does it? I don't actually, that part I don't know. But the way we get up there isn't gerrymandered. And it's it's kinda it's more sensical. Um American system seems in the Western world to be the most openly corrupt where power can literally be bought. Yeah, correct. Correct. Uh teachers are understaffed, underpaid, and underappreciated. Yes, wettings! Agreed wholeheartedly. Absolutely. We need more teachers, they need to be paid more, and we need to show them the love. Preferably financially. Oh, not underpaid. Okay. Hello, what is your source? Um, I said it before, I hey, love this channel for how all over the place conversation topics are. And to think some channels forbid discussion of politics. Here we are talking about it for literally a fucking hour. Uh, <laughs> but we're not talking about political beliefs other than our prime minister sucks. So <laughs> Like, that's the key. You can talk about the systems, but once you get into personal beliefs, that's when shit starts being thrown. American ones are definitely under everything. God's the story is my cousins tell when I visit them. Um, uh, answer John Kizzy says, no answer. Just following the union rhetoric. Um, I'm going to post a vote this year just to stay away from all that gaff. Yeah, I hope that I'm eligible. You actually do need to be eligible. That's the problem. Uh, one of the- so, Kay, when you registered, I'm- oh, hey, Renown61. I don't- I don't want to ask you what your eligibility- th your eligibility thing was, but, um, because I'm- I'm none of these. I'm intrigued, but I think France, the whole specialized high schools, learn everything and a lot irrelevant. I do already expect being class a lot of what I had to do, I would never ever use. Um, a lot of the stuff about teaching isn't necessarily about the actual content that you're learning, it's developing the skills as well, like the skills of being able to learn and the skills of like, you know, doing, for example, math and, and complicated math. Sure, I don't use trig usually. I mean, I do sometimes use trig if I'm doing like cosplay or like, you know, measuring out clothes and things like that. Um, in that case, sometimes it can be helpful, but um, like it's more like if you can do that fancy math, budgeting should be easy. Um, and making like critically critical thinking is absolutely a skill uh, that is developed through schooling without being directly taught and all that kind of stuff. It's, yeah, the actual stuff that you learn isn't always the intent of the teaching. <sighs> Just guys chill. Like both of you, I know, I know this is a really touchy topic, but not everyone's 100% focus is going to be on the stream, so just take a breath, but also, like, going to keep spitting bullshit is also throwing it back at Krazzy, like, it's just argumentative. Both of you please take a breath and, like, respond calmly, or I'm gonna have to step in, yeah? Just don't- you're being argumentative as well. Come on, man, you're a fucking mod. Chill, everyone. 
Krazzy, don't call people names. You're breaking the rules of the stream. Do not make me time you out or ban you. Seriously, I don't want to do that. I like you. You're a good guy. Don't, don't do this, yeah? Please? Uh, if I only just be I don't really care. Totally fine. Time similar to bedtime story. No, more yelling. Sharing teachers are very well paid. Recently gained a very good party in Denmark. All the people who don't think you can establish a party based on dietary preference. Um, you could, just because they're called that, that might be the basis of where they're building their things from. But like, yeah, like we had the, um, we had the Australian sex party. In fact, I think we still do. It's literally called the Australian sex party. Their policies aren't about sex. Well, I mean, some of them are. But they campaigned for having an R18 plus rating for get video games in Australia because we're all adults and we have a right to play what we want to play. Um, they uh, campaigned for like sex education in schools and stuff like that, making it like mandatory and stuff like that. Like the names are often an, a way to like grab your attention and go, what? What are you about? Why the hell are you called that? And then kind of dive a little bit deeper. So for, uh, for example, uh, a vegan party might just be things like, you know, making uh, those kind of options available, like vegan options available or dietary preferences in general, uh, more available in more places and reducing the prices of those so that they're more accessible for someone who needs to do it for medical reasons, but can't afford to because everything's overpriced. Do you know what I mean? Like there's, there are all sorts of policies that could come out of the base of, I am a vegan. I'm not a vegan, but just, you know what I mean? Time is supposed to foot around and ignore the question. Time and insult the person who asked the questions yeah, yeah, it's it's great. It's fantastic. Um, oh, it's true. And it is exactly the same. Policy in Australia is literally kindergarten. Yep. Personally, believe teachers are on page with the amount of outside work hours that are required to actually achieve the job. Many friends who are teachers who invest their outside of work times to work, lesson planning, lesson shaping, etc. I think they need better support or to be paid for the hours that they work to ensure the job is done. Shaping the future of Australia and needing the support to do so. I think you need to both calm down and breathe before you start insulting me and pointing fingers. Uh, I know if this being about liberal conservative, our left and right are both to the right. Um, yeah, on social media, speaking of social media, <laughs> there's some strange things to people. Did you have a prime minister when missing without anyone giving a toss? Uh, not, not caring, just didn't realise. Um, <laughs> everything's literally crazy if you read the policies. Uh, some of them are, yes, not all of them. Not all of them. Some of them are far more, um, centrist, uh, but yeah. Up at the higher ends. Yeah, state turned green then. Did they plant any trees? Like the coal mining party. Over two windows, we're skewed to the right here. Anything past the centre gets called radical left, which is still closer to Labour than the Greens. No elision at one point. Ah, uh, extreme people are very loud and noticeable. This is true. Don't matter what I want to say. Three to four really big parties, lots of parties. Uh, often small, obscure parties suddenly have real power because the government have to make a coalition with them. Sheer hypocrisy is just bonkers. Yep. Voting majority, yes. Surely the system is fair. I mean, oh, good, yes, I agree. I agree with you, Ruby. But yeah, because because I'd had a conversation about Australia and then uh, I think it was Landar was like, yeah, it sounds a lot better than the US. And I'm like, I agree. So I, I was like, what is Ruby responding to? <laughs> I, just, I had to be sure because I'm really behind, but I'm trying to catch up quickly. Um, did the... Uh... I think it's been done. Um, sorry, you don't say anything hypocritical. Look, both of you calm the fuck down or I'm going to time you both out, yeah? Good lord. Uh, great minds think alike. See, you try to add a third emote, won't let me choose him. Just said I can't get away from work. Oh, okay, gotcha. I think it's Universal and Oz is bad at his job. I would like to hope so. I really, really hope so. Do you remember Florida just wiped a few majority of the population districts away? Fuck me. I'm just going after Disney for some stance the company has. The globally, politicians absolutely suck at optics. In Denmark, we had a politician that talked about the importance of public school when her kid was in private school. Now that it was all about green energy, but was driving a gas guzzler. It isn't illegal or wrong. It just looks so bad. Yeah, they make it's it's their their staffers have written them a really lovely, awesome speech without knowing anything about their boss's boss's personal life. Um, <laughs> you don't go for the postal vote. You can often vote a pre polling site. Yeah, but they're further away, um, and I probably won't be able to get to one. Um, but that's okay. I'll figure it out. But thank you for letting me know. I, d I didn't want to ask the question because there's some really fucking personal answers on there. So, uh, I don't know if characters in Twitch chat for that one. TLDR, majority party proposed a bill that Disney kind of sort of disagreed with. Government is retaliating against them by removing some special tax status they have. That should be illegal. If they qualify for the tax status, they should have it. Hey, Lucky! 
going well how are you really behind on chat australian sex party still around yeah australian sex party yep look them up there's also the pirate party correct uh sounds like fun if they go into the whole legal battle thing disney has a full fleet of lawyers uh, yeah, but if they're fighting against the literal law, like the governments make the law, and given how corrupt some of them seem like they could be, they could just change it so that the lawyers are not arguing on a fair playing field. You know what I mean? Um, Australia has all the fun parties, it seems, during Call of Particular. I'm pretty sure Pirate Party was not at all as fun as they sound or a very nice party. Um, there was, uh, I, re I remember a while ago they were really keen on being, like making pirating legal, and that's not okay because pay artists what they're worth anyway um but yeah i don't remember more recent stuff so just love is a good party it seems to be throwing parties come over losers uh what will you name that party current pirate party is mostly interested in freedom of information more transparency in the government that's okay uh we had the goal we did i saw that but i was trying to frantically catch up on chat maybe the same or different party emote chats uh oh maybe it's because i i went onto my dashboard and i couldn't see the thing there so I assumed it had already been activated, but sometimes the reward requests queue bugs out and I can't see new ones without refreshing. So it looks like that's what's actually happened. So my bad. There you go, have emotes. Um, I could just finish up a thing, so we were live. Ah, I think Fox Gomer is not Prime Minister. I don't know what to call it. Huh? Skomo is the Prime Minister. What are you... I'm confused. Ah, I'm hoping for that party. Oh, the emotes! Show me your emotes! Oh, goodness, that was a lot of chat. I'm so sorry I got that far behind, but that's... It's it's a really, like, it's a really in-depth topic that a lot of people get passionate about, and in order to explain it, I can't really do it in three seconds and then move on to the next message, so I appreciate your patience. Um... <laughs> Landar, Martin, Vild, Kludgy, Zem, Mars, Zombie, and Cat. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. We are going to do one more battle. One more. Bum, ba, da, ba. Bum, ba, ba. Does it make it more fun that all the emotes are going everywhere on the screen? Do you like that? Do you like it better? Does it make emote only chat more fun? Dum da da dun 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 Um Alright. Do let's go do another cup stop. Ugh. Brilliant. There we go. Emote only has ended. You can have your words back. Um, and we did the Lich King one from Seeker, so I can take that off. Oh, I'll just check. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Scrum loses. I will throw a party. That's what I meant. Uh, and I see the head message. What? Ah, gotcha. Well, some emails get thrown all over the stream. Good. I'm glad. Uh, no, the name was in yellow when I clicked it. I think, I don't know who it was, it's gone now. Um, you've returned. Ah, oh, it's a bit that way. It can definitely be a bit that way. That's, I think, really, they were. I've still got one in queue. Still one in queue. You doing okay? Yeah, just, that was a lot of chat that I was behind on because I was talking too much in paragraphs. <laughs> but, makeup nail stream! We're gonna do a beauty stream, you guys. Means you get to see me bare-faced again. 
no makeup on to start. I've got one still in queue for Seeker, but I think it might have been Chaos. Potentially. It was yellow. It was the yellow name. I'm excited. Good. I'm so hyped. I want to learn from the master. I'm not a master. Oh my god. It's always gorgeous. Keep in mind it is on a webcam and I'm like little in the corner. So it's not... Excuse me. I do get a lot of like free passes because I'm not filming in 4K. Do you know what I mean? Like when you guys meet me at PAX, I'm sure you're going to be like... You're wearing Fia's clothes and you have red hair, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Imagine seeing that. I know, Barry. I know. Never go fresh faced. Hello. How you doing? Yeah. Uh, chat unlocked a community goal with the channel points. That's for a makeup and nails stream next month. So I'll start the stream bare faced and I'll go through my whole my whole um, thing of putting my makeup on and stuff, and nail art, and I'm a comb my hair too. So badly, I don't know if I'll be able to definitely be there in spirit. Uh, the early bird prices for the tickets are finished. Um, so the prices are now more expensive. Um, I don't know how much. Let's find out. <clears throat> maybe the packs would be delighted to be able to converse with your lovely soul in real life. Maybe. Until I start talking over you because I'm trying to catch up on chat. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. People just have rolled up newspaper in the back of the hand. Oh, we're vomiting at you in person. They went up by about five bucks. Yeah, they don't usually go up by much, but I wanted to check. It's a rare treat. Hard to tell the difference between 4K and real life, right? It, it's, yeah, it's a pretty, it's a thing. So yeah, I'm definitely not in 4K. So if you're attending PAX, or even if you're not attending PAX, but you come to the, like, on Saturday, I'm planning to go, like, sit out on the, there's, like, grass outside the uh, MCEC, and just kind of sit on the grass and kind of have a picnic with my lunch. Um, and so that way, people who aren't attending PAX, but are in Melbourne, will be able to, like, attend a, a gathering, if that makes sense. Um, at least that's the plan, but we'll see how we go. Yeah, the daily tickets went up by five, and the three-day badge went up by five as well. Yeah, so it's not by much at all. But that does mean that if you miss a three-day badge, which last I checked were 85% sold out, but it might be more than that now. Let's see if I can find a more recent post. 90. Three-day badges are now 90% sold out. But before, it had only cost you like $10 more to buy three separate tickets. Um, but now it's going to cost you a fair bit more. Because um, it'll cost you 210 to buy three individual days versus 175 for a, um, for a, a, for a three-day pass. So yeah, if, if you are keen on going, I like always recommend getting in before you miss out. Um, Hmm. <clears throat> I can imagine Seeker following you around telling people about community goal. <laughs> oh my god, or to follow me on social. No, no, what, what Seeker's gonna do is, is Seeker's gonna pickpocket my fucking biz digital business card that I'm gonna go get myself printed and bought. There's um, Officeworks and a couple of other places have options for digital business cards where if you tap them on a phone, the NFC opens up essentially an all my links type of page out with all your socials and stuff. I can imagine Seeker pickpocketing the card and just going around tapping it on random people's phones to try to give out my socials as much as possible. That's kind of, that's what I feel like the transition to real life would look like. And I mean, I wouldn't be angry about it as long as, as long as she didn't lose it. <laughs> as long as I got it back, I'd be good with it. Need that for my, for, for influencer networking events. <clears throat> I think I don't have to use a keyboard to type, you'll be able to talk over me. Oh honey, I loud. I am I am loud. I can be. I get really high pitched when I get loud though. Like the louder I go, the higher I go. Yeah, I'm one of those. I can't wait to meet the both of you. Think about how noisy I am here and extrapolate! Honey, have you watched my streams? <laughs> 
I have to try to not talk this much IRL because I've been streaming for so goddamn long. I keep talking over people IRL accidentally because I forget that I have to, I'm supposed to stop and wait till they finish. <laughs> I'm gonna introduce yourself by screen name. Yeah. Yeah. I am planning on having some kind of Fiamma merch on me each day, like as in wearing physically, um, so that you won't have to double check if I'm fear, if that makes sense. Do you know what I mean? Like, because I, I can imagine people sort of thinking they're recognizing me, but not being 100% sure because they haven't seen me. Do you know what I mean? Like, that they might not quite recognize me. Um, so hopefully having the bird on my chest should help with that. Question. If we had, I know I've probably asked this before, but if we had magnets or stickers or badges or whatever, bird or emotes? And would you prefer, like, which of those three are, like, order of preference, order of preference, magnets, stickers, badges, like pins? Not, not like the enamel ones that are funky shaped. I'm talking like circular ones. Bitch, I can't afford enamel pins just yet. Maybe next year when I'm rolling in all that sponsorship cash from my Instagram that has over a thousand followers. <laughs> oh, shit. Ninety? Ah, oh, 90%, yeah. Awesome. So close. I'm at like, part of me is like, they're actually selling really slowly. I would have thought they'd sell out faster because they have fewer tickets to sell and more people are keen because they haven't been able to go in a while. But then there are going to be other people who are like, it's a pandemic. I can't afford this shit. Uh, and also it's a pandemic. Hey, level 24. Definitely not making level 25 today, but that's two levels I've gone up. I was 22 uh, when the stream began. Um, but yeah, so people, yes, okay, there are fewer tickets for them to sell, but people also can't afford it because it's been pandemic for two years. And um, people may also not be comfortable going because they don't feel that, um, you know, uh, guidelines and restrictions may be not enough to protect them or their loved ones or whatever. And that's also very fair. Um, so yeah, I keep kind of like, there are so many variables. That's uh, not that hard to talk over me. Listen, tend to listen more than I speak. Social anxiety is a bitch. Uh, see, I talk more when I get nervous. Yep. Is that PAX thing like a games convention? It is. They're all over the place. Um, PAX East, PAX West, uh, PAX Prime, I think they called it at one point. Um, there is now PAX West, PAX East, PAX Oz, and PAX Unplugged. But it's, yeah, it's a Penny Arcade Expo. It's a video game convention. Not just video games, it's a gaming convention. They also have half the, or a third of the hall dedicated to like tabletop games and miniatures and um, card games and all that kind of stuff too. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a gaming convention. So nice of you to make it to my one. So meet everyone, time to get saving. So nice of me. Also, if you had been to PAX, you would know how difficult it is to meet inside the convention somewhere. It's, no, it will, no, uh-uh. Nope. <laughs> it's just, it's a lot, like everyone meets on the lawn though. So it's kind of, I think once I kind of find a place and sit down, um, I might get Jess or something to take a photo of me being like, with like the general location so that you can see where I am. But yeah, it's a, it's a whole thing. Uh, where am I trying to buy? A pike. <laughs> Now I need a slicer, which is eight seventy-five. I don't think I'm gonna get there. I've got thirty-five on it currently. Lucky Penny Arcade Expo. It is. God. Well, at that point, just get her on to going hard right now. That's the hype, man. Maybe I need to get a second one and like lend it. Because I mean, having a second one to put. Like to put in Jas's hand might be helpful, but uh, yeah. <laughs> you're a secret out for tapping people's asses with a digi card for their phones. You're you're not wrong, because their phones are gonna be in their pocket. Yeah, yeah. I think they have to be unlocked for the NFC to work though. 
contrary to my bad mic skills, I too am loud. Yes, we're going to be loud together, Barry. I cannot wait to meet you. I am, like, so super keen. Hello, Chaotic. I think Seeker and Fear are about to have a loud off. Oh, honey. What we need to do is find the Just Dance booth. Proud of how obviously amazing you are, Fear Cosplay events. So, uh, I've been to three PAXs. The first one, I dressed up as Misty. I still have... I still have all of those costume pieces. That's why I've got the Togepi. Um, that's what I got that for. Um, then, the second time I dressed up as Cruiser Diva, I've got a 3D printed gun that I painted. It's very bad. Uh, <laughs> like, it's crap, but like, it's a crap paint job. But it was because that was, you know... Um, and I have, I bought a, um, like a hospitality industry, like the checkered yellow, red and white shirt and then cut it and sewed it up and did the tight, yep. Yeah. Uh, and jeans that don't fit me anymore. Uh, <laughs> and, um, the third one I didn't cosplay because I wanted to focus on, like, the networking and stuff. I didn't want to have to worry about the whole, yep, yeah, so I didn't. Um, when I mentioned, I was in contact with Blizzard recently, uh, for a couple of reasons, and, um, mentioned that Dragonflight is finally the excuse that I've needed, um, to- I've wanted to cosplay as Alex Straza for six plus years. I don't actually know how long it's been. I do remember that when I came up with the idea, the person that I was dating at the time was vehemently against it. Um, I ended up breaking up with him because he was a controlling fuckwit. So there's that. Uh, <laughs> had I not miss, had I missed that, who knows? But um, so and then I kind of like I toyed with the idea, but oh, it's so much work, and I've never done that before, and it's like it's a big deal and blah blah blah. So I just kind of. Uh. But then Dragonflight. If I'm not gonna do it now, when am I gonna do it? And so. Yesterday, I was doing some investigation, I was doing some research into like how to actually make all this stuff. I watched a couple of YouTube videos, um, I, I did some, some googling and some research. Looks like I can buy an Alex Straza costume for 1100 Australian dollars. Not happening, uh, although chances are you'd probably spend that much making it anyway, but making it's more fun. Um, and all this kind of stuff, and I, I found a couple of things that I was like, maybe this is possible. And I watched a couple of YouTube videos and went, maybe this is kind of possible. And uh, I had a conversation with Jas about it yesterday about whether or not he would be willing to help me with some stuff. Like if I was gonna do this, would he help me print things out and cut things out and trace things out and cut more things out and, and put things together and, and in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have asked him to help me cut things. Uh, <laughs> but, like, he's got more skill. Like, he's he's actually really goddamn skilled with a knife, but he uses it a lot more often. And so, you know, the more you, more often you use a knife or a blade, you know, chances, percentage-based incident rate, yeah. So, um, he's, only, he's actually only cut himself a couple of times, and um, he's only really done some serious damage when there's been faults with things that he wasn't aware of. Uh, but anyway, um, so all this kind of, and I'm like, okay, all right, maybe, maybe I do this. And then emailing with my contact at Blizzard and they were very excited about the idea. Like, yes, you should absolutely do that. That'd be awesome. And then you might've seen in the affiliates, affiliate specials, um, ch uh, channel in discord today, that humble released a bundle of cosplay books. So I'm taking that as my sign from the universe. For Shadowlands launch, I dressed up as Sylvanas. I've got the cloak, I've still got the wig, it's a mess, but I've got the wig. I've got my dress, obviously. I just bought a dress and stuck it on. But I made the cloak from scratch. Um, uh, so I'm thinking that I try to aim to have a cosplay for Dragonflight. So, 
That's a thing. Let's wear for your shirt and a red wig. Good lord. Should I get the thirsty people in the city and done double takes? Yeah. Enamel bird badge. Never mind. I can't do that yet. They are very expensive to make. Um, I'd need to sell them to you guys, and I'm not sure I feel comfortable being like, yes, you can have a badge. $10 cash, please. That's not, like, I'm not comfortable with that. Um, <clears throat> and then shipping costs, if I was going to buy them and have them ordered here and then ship them around the world, having you guys pay a lot of money for shipping is, it's just, it's not. Maybe one day in the future I'll be set up enough that I'll have, like, an independent merch store and I can stock badges and all that kind of stuff, and that'd be great, but not... No, I'm not that big yet. Um, it sounds like a single white female. Um, Pax lunch. Yes, one of those. Take more when nervous. Talk to more when you visit ruminate over every word for the next 30 years. Correct. Like, say something and then go, oh, that was too much. To talk more when I'm nervous. I was going to go, because it's later going, because it's promised I should have remember. Okay, she was Melbourne. Probably left somewhere in the middle of this journey. Leave a period at work. Pretty sure this year has been a journey. Yeah, I was really a conversation about a book I bought when I was about seven years old. The other thing is to see, like, is it actually going to be worth the money for you? Like, last time you were there, I think you spent about a third of the time actually in the convention. Um, like, yeah. Uh, I maintain employment. I want to get Halo 3 Marine armor cosplay made for myself. Trying to get one made years ago. Didn't have enough money. It's expensive. And as I always say, we need to pay artists what they're worth. And cosplay builds take hundreds of hours so if you're you know paying somebody an hourly rate plus paying for materials plus paying them for a skill that you yourself don't have hence why you're buying one rather than you know yeah cosplays are expensive expensive point i miss cons time yes 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 you should get packs oh it's perhaps a good fund me yes stuff to be on those I'm totally saving for the Australian International Air Show down in Melbourne next year after that Marine Armour and all the different conventions. So it was great. It was very basic bitch, but I think it was effective. It worked. Um, I mean, can't imagine be working Saturday 10.30 to midnight, uh, to 11. Uh, true great reason to break up with someone. So I'm a bundle for a Exa Yeah, right. And I saw that. I'm like, so I bought it. I, I have purchased that bundle personally. I don't use my, I can't. One time, one time I accidentally used my own link. To, to buy a bundle and I got an email from the Humble team saying you did this if you do it again you'll be removed from the affiliate program I was like oh shit so I'm very careful these days to like triple check that my slide is not there when I'm making purchases because good lord <clears throat> 1k there's a lot of jarred pickles it makes sense though you think of like it's not just materials it's also hours worked um plus the skills, like they have those skills and therefore their hourly rate is going to be higher because they've developed those skills, blah, 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 blah. Um, turning Jas into a noble sti- no. Uh, if Jas did want to cosplay as something, like alongside me, then absolutely, I'd be more than happy to help him with that too. 100%. So it's been a busy one year, Hawaiian shirt, a few other items of clothing, so I was adamant. I was doing a Huntress Thompson. Stakes equals MP. Stakes equals no, ah. I'm looking around 1k for a Halo Marine armor commission. That seems about right. Although that's like a whole thing of armor, whereas the thing for Alex Straza is essentially a breastplate and some leg plates. Um, shoulders, horns, braces, but it's not like a full body thing. You do have a lot of skin showing, uh, which is another reason why I've not done it for, you know, a while. Um, I've been a little uh, nervous about that kind of thing, but fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. When else is it going to be appropriate? Ah, uh, you know, this is screaming you an idiot, right? That's what I figure. That's what I figure. So, there is an Etsy listing that I have favorited that I can't put on my wish list before anybody asks. Um, I cannot put on my wish list because it's a digital item and Etsy does not allow you to gift digital items. You have to like order it for yourself and then like send it on sort of thing. Uh, and so Throne won't do it because they can't do that. Um, they need to be able to gift it directly to me. Um, and it's a, it's essentially a, a, uh, a file that you buy for a program called Peppercura. Peppercura is a paper folding pro program. Well, it's not a paper, it doesn't fold paper. Basically, you can upload a 3D object to Peppercura and it unfolds it. 
into the net. If you did nets in, in math when, you know, in primary school and stuff like that, you'd, you'd get the net that had all the triangles and you'd fold it into a pyramid or a net that you'd fold into a cube or whatever. So Pepakura does 3D nets that are far more complicated than that, but you print it out and you can print it out in colour and then fold it up and have a little paper model of whatever it is that you are creating. But people also use it for cosplay because they scale those models up and they print out larger, like, bits and then they put as a template and then they put that template on foam, trace, cut, attach together, wear. There's some more steps in there, but it's fine. Uh, <laughs> So, there's a file on Etsy. Um, I found, funnily enough, the YouTuber that I ended up kind of a little bit binging last night, uh, Kamui Cosplay. Svetlana speaks quicker than I do, which is a feat in and of itself. She is so entertaining and so engaging um, and just really genuine and uh, lovely. I, I really enjoyed the videos of hers that I watched. She has a ton of books. She has a dress that is black with white writing that says, buy my books, buy my books, buy my books, buy my books, buy my... And she also has in her background a sign that says, buy my books, which I really hope one day I can be that brazen because hell yeah, girl, get that coin. Um, <laughs> but a whole, a whole ton of her books were in this cosplay bundle that Humble's done. So that, that was another sign to me that clearly I'm on the right track here. Like I'm in, I'm in the right place. So I bought it. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I was watching a bit of that and that really gave me the confidence, like I can actually do this. Um, and she, there's one video like getting started with foam armor where she makes a, a, like a bracer and everything she did was just so simple. Like it was really, really easy. Even the painting, it, the painting looked amazing, but it looked really simple, like how she actually did it, but it was such a great effect. And so I was like, I can do that. I can do that. Um, so I have this found, newfound belief in myself. Um, we'll see how we go. Ah, uh, I could be on a match and make a cosplay now. Look, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. It may end up looking like trash. It it may end up looking like trash. I'm not gonna do a wig. I I just wigs are warm and itchy, and I, I really don't like them. But I am a redhead, and I can just kind of straighten my hair and tease it up and make it big like Ali's is. And I feel like if I get a haircut right before launch, I can get them to cut my fringe to sort of like this length or maybe a little bit shorter so that I can grab the bits of it and then kind of like pomade it to the middle to get that kind of spiky fringe look she's got going. Like, I reckon I could do it with my own hair. So I don't think I need to invest in a wig, which is good because good wigs are hella expensive. Um, rightfully so, good quality, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I think the horns are on some kind of like headband kind of, I'm not sure, I'll have to figure it out, but yeah. Um, is fine paying shipping. Our breastplates are so expensive. Even when they're even when they're just like foam, getting them to fit right and to fit your contours properly and not just sort of sit like off your skin, but like it's gotta fit, like it's gotta actually sit on you. Even if you've got, you know, breasticles and then it comes down to here, it has to sit against your skin rather than hanging out here. Like it just oh, it's so finicky to be able to get that stuff done. But um I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Just don't know potentially subtracts for dental funds, income earnings. Yeah, I am, look, I'm really good at budgeting. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna take it slow. I'm going to, first thing I'm gonna do is buy the Peppercrew files and figure out how to use them and like get that printed and all that kind of stuff and see if I can make that work and get the, if, if I can even scale it to my measurements and because you have to scale the file yourself. It comes as a preset thing, um, but it's designed for someone who is of a height 170 to 180 centimeters, and I'm 160. So I'll have to scale it to fit me. Um, and there are, Kamui has a bunch of videos on how to like, how to resize files and stuff, particularly in Blender, but um, maybe I can find some tutorials on Pepakura changing sizes. Um, and then 
I reckon I'd probably cut out the paper and make the armor out of paper first to check that the sizing's right. Uh, and then, because it, it will need to be a little bit loose with paper so that it can handle like six millimeter density foam. Um, or six, sorry, six millimeter thick foam, not density. Uh, that's two different things. Um, and then once I'm happy with that and confident I can take the next step, maybe I buy like one sheet of foam and make maybe the braces or the horns or just something, or the shoulders, something little to test if I can actually do it and make it look okay and then buy more foam and do the rest of the bits and then start with the painting. Like, yeah, so I'm just going to take it bit by bit and try to spread the cost out over like a really long period of time. Um, and see where I go. And if at any point it gets to the point where I can't afford it, then I just won't do it. It's it's as simple as that. Because I'm not a silly. I don't fear into small paper box. Very large paper hat. Um, I should do that with one of my 3D spaceships. Yes! Origami Straza. Bless you. Looks like your head just with the horns, yeah. Tilly hasn't got the dragon foot out. It's just a more paper. Uh, good idea scaling the pattern. Don't scale the fear. Correct. Something, something, dragon scale. Oh, uh, dear. Dragons indeed be fucking. Worst case, I need much for the accurate version and do a modern cosplay. Modern Muslim version of Hillary's there. No. Um, uh, Evan Alex could work, yeah. Um, I'm not doing the stuff um, because I can't really use a weapon while I'm playing on my keyboard. If this was something that I was going to take to PAX or something, I would absolutely do a weapon, but it's not. This is I, the idea of this. When I was speaking to my rep at Blizzard, they were like, oh my god, you could wear it to PAX! And I was like, <laughs> Melbourne is cold. Um, but no, the idea is that it's going to be for launch, um, and I don't need... a weapon would get in the way. Um, plus it'd cost more, so hey! Um... I'd have to get it to PAX 2. Yeah, nah. Um, usually I think weapons, they end up making things that are deconstructible so you can put them in smaller pieces in your luggage, but I don't quite know because I've never done it before. Um, uh, talking about PAX. Oh, I don't have time. There's six months till PAX. Less than six months. There's like five months till PAX. I don't have the money or the, the time to do that in time. Absolutely not. Uh, yes. Ah, did I? Nope. Okay, good. Uh, how long? Oh, look! I was about to say, how long have I got on the battle? Freaking perfect. Look at this. Look at us go. Ah, I thought it was ambitious. Yeah, no. Nah. Absolutely not. I'm... Look. I definitely get in over my head a lot, but I'm not an idiot. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Australian website that Kamui recommends for cosplay materials seems to be out of stock of half their stuff. What I might be able to do is find some of the stuff I need on Amazon, though. At least that way it'd be really fast shipping, and I could potentially put it on the, the wish list. Um, but, eh, we'll see. Um, I'm not quite at that point yet. Fantastic. Uh, Kat, Talus, Vild, Chief, and Zem, congratulations to all of you on your morning sheet. Uh, we're done for tonight. Um, for tonight. That was Comp Stomp. I hope you enjoyed yourself. On Sunday, we are going to be doing ATT and Lax Loot Appraiser Challenge. Is, and from what I recall, we are doing Burning Crusade Dungeons on Shaman this time. Um, so let me just double check, uh, where's my, all the dungeon raid things, spreadsheet. You know where to find me. <laughs> Excuse me, so it was mana tombs. Hmm. So we're gonna do exactly what we did last week, we've got Organite Crypt, Sethicals, Shadow Labs, mana tombs, 
Black Morass and Old Hills, Bradfoot Hills. That's what we're going to, like, those six is what we're going to aim for. Uh, feel free to join us. You will need Loot Appraiser Challenge, uh, Loot Appraiser add-on, Loot Appraiser Challenge add-on, TSM and the TSM desktop app. If you type exclamation LAC into chat, you'll get a link to all the add-ons that you need to download and also a brief descriptor of what you actually need. You also need to add me to your friends list, your battle net list, um, so that you can receive my challenges via battle net. Uh, it doesn't whisper you, it just does a thing. Uh, Making my own armor, could use foam board, might look into that. Um, I'm going to be using EVA foam, uh, is what I have decided, uh, according to every, like, it just looks like the easiest thing to do for armor. Did I miss a charity stream? Not yet. Happy sleeps, you too, Seeker. Good night, Rel. All right, so Sunday, we have the transport hunt. Monday, we have Mount Farm Monday. Wednesday, the 27th, is Shah Farm, and it is the charity stream. That is when we are going to be raising funds for Pank One, a pancreatic cancer research charity. Um, if you were to be diagnosed with pancreatic cancer today, the chances of you living another five years is 8%. And that's terrible. That's ridiculous. That's horrible. In this day and age with all the medical research and the, the medical advancements that we have, 8% five-year survival is ridiculous. And so Pank One is looking to funnel some cash into research to, to bring that survival rate up because, good lord, um, uh, Pank One is calling it storytelling. I'm grateful. Oh, Landa, thank you for the donation. Very generous of you. Oh, thank you so much for the kind words. Um, what was I saying? Right. Um, they are calling it Storytelling Day. The intent is for people to talk about cancer and experiences with it, um, positive, negative, all that kind of stuff. Uh, however, I'm not going to be directly asking people to talk about it because I know that's like that's a boundary that I don't really want to cross but people will be welcome to if they want to um so it may be a triggering stream um like that's it is what it is unfortunately to raise awareness of things we do have to talk about them uh but it is totally okay and understandable if you personally do not feel comfortable listening to or reading those conversations I there are no person no hard feelings no uh, none of that kind of stuff. If you need to not be here, then I will not take it personally. Um, I, I get it. It's a thing. Uh, however, there will be incentives for donations, uh, like be eating beans. Because those are tasty and I enjoy them so much and I'm going to continue to do that. I'm an idiot, but that's fine. Uh, so we'll do that. Uh, we'll hopefully raise a bit of cash for them and, uh, get them on their way to, even if it's not discovering a cure, just treatment options that makes it more likely for, for someone to survive, you know? Uh, and then next Friday, the last stream for April. What? Uh, it's the 29th of April and it's another Shah farm. It'll be the second half. Uh, the other 25 tunes against Shah because the, the deal was it was 50 tunes versus Shah. I can't do that in six hours. I have to do that in 12 hours. And if we get really tra really crappy spawn times, I might not even be able to do it in 12, but we'll see how we go. Um, I'm going to do my absolute best to finish that. Um, I messed up into life straight away this time. Amazing. Awesome. Good night, everyone. You too, Chaos. I mean, the time I thought you were hacked. Uh, if I remember looking for that too. Yeah. Um, you can, like, heat it and it... And, and it like and hold it while it cools completely and it'll hold sort of curves and stuff like that which is great um it's just really versatile from what i've been reading uh night, night. cool so that's what we're doing um that's like the rest of april good god i can't believe we're at the end of april anyway um hmm Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, I don't think we've been here before. This is a person who's I recognise from Twitter. They're in my recommended. Um. I say they're playing World of Warcraft. I think they're. Um. They've got full camera on at the moment, but I think they're doing... Yeah, that's right. Okay. Oh, there we go. There's WoW. What are they doing? 
see all the things. That's all I need to know. Good, this is where we're going. <laughs> okay, how did April just disappear? Don't ask me, I don't know. Um, bronze dragon flight, done. Uh, 23 before we know it, shush you. Take care, you too, Lander. All right, let us go and send some love to a new person. New people, yay. Dead Sandra. Good, let's try this. Twitch, raid, grab your copy paste. If you don't have the Fiamma Hype emote, either because you are not a sub or because you haven't unlocked it with your channel points, I've wish you totally fine. You can still copy and paste the entire message, delete Fiamma Hype, and replace it with your favorite happy, happy, uh, celebratory emote, celebratory emote, uh, and drop it in Sandra's chat when we get there. Um, I've never watched this person stream, but I have been, I think, uh, Twitter for like a long time. So like, hey, let's check them out. Uh, take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. And I'll see you on Sunday. All the love. Bye, guys. Oh, and follow Instagram.